Last time on a tangent about dragons. Our heroes found themselves locked up aboard a police airship after getting in a fight on Shale's docks. This woman across from you brings out a, uh, a clipboard, everyone's names. Joey DeVito. She looks down a thousand yard stare almost through you. Your real name? Joey Petal. She points at Hertha and yours? Yolne. First or second name? The only one. This Yolne. woman leans back in her chair and is like, I can see you guys are likely new. This is a routine thing. I just want to get it over with. Give me your actual names. I'll have you back out onto the streets in no time. Arista. Without looking up, she just points the pen at Ren. Fine, it's Haley Garish. Deception check, please. Yes! 20. And how is that spelled? After repeatedly lying to a police officer for seemingly no reason, the group are set free, returning to the Gubbin. You get to where your ship was, uh, and it is not there. There's a post next to where it was, pinned onto this board, a sheet of paper with toe notice written in a bold red typeface. As of this notice, the Gubbin has been moored illegally for one hour and 12 minutes. The receipts required to retrieve your vessel may be acquired from the Freight Coordinator's office at the Fox. No! Kind regards to the office of the Freight Coordinator. The crew begrudgingly return to the office of the Freight Coordinator, who understandably is not too happy to see them again. I was just standing, just standing at, the, at the desk and it's like close to crying, just like, where's my boat? He has opened a, a drawer and he brings out an envelope. For the record, I was trying to get them to find you, but here you go. I assume this goes without saying, but get out of my office. The crew returned to the ship, but actually this time, and I met with a peculiar smell. The main area, and I start lighting up like a uh, uh, 36 of incense and I start waving it around. Joey walks over, opens the fridge, all the vegetables in there have started rotting and there's some meat in there that has just fully turned. With no in-date food in sight, the crew decides to go to the nearest pub, the Docklands Hall. A group of bards, there's just a couple of bards playing lutes and singing, a, a wash of just rowdy sailor types. Can I see either of the people who attacked us today? And you see in the corner there's a, there's a woman, and there's a man, and there is a, a pseudo-dragon just calmly asleep. The bartender catches Joey's eye, and after a number of successful skill checks, she actually seems to make some headway there, which is, you know, good on her. As Joey starts to walk away, she's gonna be like, well, if you need anywhere to stay, I have a pretty nice room on an airship here, so let me know. She's like, yeah, maybe I will, maybe I will. The night progresses as one may expect, as Joey and Hertha provide a distraction? while Ren tries to sneak up on the person that attacked them in the docks earlier that day. This is going down Dynasty. fantastically well. Joey's there like, hey, the, the guitarists by this point have stepped even further back to just allow you two to just do whatever you're doing. And uh, the, the half elf looks down, looks you dead in the eyes, Ren. Hey, just come here. I'm gonna sit down with them, I guess. What happened earlier on today should have gone smoother. There is a lot that I cannot tell you. You guys clearly don't know what's going on and it's better for you guys if you don't what's what's in the box he sits there for a second in the face of someone who's trying to think the best way to word something difficult takes a, a, a breath in before we eat. yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. welcome him. back to attack of our dragons everybody <laughs> Hello! Um, Hello! Hello. 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 As always, uh, joining me this week we have Sparks. Say hi, Sparks. Hello. So we have we have Mir. Say hi, Mir. Hello. And we have Poke. Say hi, Poke. Hello. I'm gonna try and like adjust my audio so I don't clip like I just did going into this. Uh, a bit of housekeeping before we before we go into this. You guys may notice that we are premiering a pre-recorded episode instead of uh, streaming this, and this is because, as some people may have found out, um, I don't know when this is going up. We might do this before the scheduled date, but the the, the last Monday where we should have streamed, we all found out collectively that my current internet does not allow me to stream it's that bad um we thought of many ways around this and uh the, the easiest way to do this is to just pre-record these and um and deal with it that way until uh, until i can get this internet issue rectified we have no idea how long this is going to go on for uh but just trust us this is the easiest way to do this so um sorry for um for for not being able to interact with you uh directly to simulate uh, having the ability to talk to to uh, to us uh, back and forth, uh, we will occasionally just sit here in silence for five seconds while we pretend to wait for the stream chat to catch up, like this. See, it's like it's like, it's like you're watching a stream. 
I was I was like, who's gonna ruin it first? Who's gonna ruin it first? A cup of tea I have in front of me, and it was a lot better in my head. Um, we're in we're in the chat. We're in the live chat for the premiere. We should be talking to you now. I should say hi at some points around here, just so you know that it's legit. Um, oh, EJ Monkey says. <laughs> I'm, I'm not entirely something sure funny. what he says, but it was hilarious. Probably something about Hertha being a bad captain. But... Yeah. <laughs> we should do that. We should just, like, at random points, just guess what regular viewers are saying. <laughs> Redacted says, this is a great stream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, God. Okay. <laughs> um, so when we last left off... Um, uh, when we last left off, uh, I just realised that I wasn't recording the, f- the main bit for the first bit of that. It's fine. We'll deal with it. I'll sync it up. I'm changing to the loading screen now. So later, Alex, can sync all this up properly. It's fine. We, We're learning. We also see your audacity, not the game screen. Yes. Yeah. There you are, Sparks. I fixed it. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> good <Good-o>. Um. <clears throat> so, <laughs> so as we may remember... At the end of the last session, um, we were, we were, we were a, a party was 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 it was afoot. Uh, we had Hertha <laughs> and Joey on stage um, as the the drunken patrons of the Docklands Hall were were dancing and laughing and watching. I think Joey's on Hertha's shoulders at this point. They're staggering around. They're just providing entertainment. It's loud. You can hear glasses clinking. You can smell just beer and body odor. It just fills the air. Mm-mm. It's a it's it's a Delicious. sailor's bar. It's a sailor's bar, and it smells and feels and looks like it. Um, <clears throat> unless you're Ren, of course. Uh, Ren, if we remember, had moved Ren across uh, the floor, sort of ducking and diving between uh, the patrons of the Docklands Hall. Badly, uh, badly, uh, <laughs> as it happened, because as she thought she was sneaking up on the uh, hooded hooded uh, elf guy, and um, I see a half elf. I think it's a half elf. I'm sneaking. <laughs> was basically her approach there. Well, effectively, yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, you, you, you thought you were sneaking up on, uh, on on the half elf, um, but uh, <clears throat> but no. Uh, the second you got within viewing distance, he looked down, beckoned you over, <clears throat> uh, and if you remember, his uh, his pet pseudo dragon. His, uh, his lovely silver pseudo dragon was just nicely calmly asleep on the on the chair next to him uh, and a uh, an acquaintance of his you assume uh, who you haven't met was sitting in the same booth uh, you, you sat down you talked back and forth he apologized for the way that um uh, things went down uh, with the fight at the docks uh, and suggested that you guys as novice couriers maybe in a little bit over your head with this job um <clears throat> ren what was his first ren does not appreciate the short reference <laughs> <laughs> ren uh ever the uh ever the questioning type uh, immediately turned around and asked what's in the box what's in the box <laughs> <laughs> the 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 half elf uh sat there a face like a man who's trying to work out how to word something, his acquaintance, watching him being like, eh. He takes a breath in. He looks to you and goes, <clears throat> I assume you're familiar with the with the West Coast Courier Group. Um, I imagine you would be, Ren. They are the... Uh, so you have the Postal Service. Uh, yeah. like, like, like in the real world, you have the Postal Service and then you have things like UPS or FedEx or something like that. Um, sure. The West Coast Courier Group are like those. They are the guild for private courier stuff, basically. Uh, they are relatively yeah. famous. Um, you, as somebody who has enjoyed tinkering with objects in the past and ordering things in and taking them apart, you may have used them for a particularly valuable things or whatever. Um, so when he says, are you familiar with the West Coast Courier Group? You would be. You would be. Um <clears throat> So you'd nod or, or, or whatever. And he goes, go, 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 go. I might be. He's like, I assume you are. Um, <clears throat> so I'm with them, and he brings out his guild seal and slides it across the table for you to see uh, if you would like to take it and look through it. Um, it looks legit. Is it transparent? 
Uh, it's it's like a um, it's got a couple of leaves of paper in it. It has um, it has his name. It has a photo of him. Uh, general travel documents and such. The uh, the the WCCG has um, special permissions. Uh, some 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 agreements with port cities for preferential treatment stuff like that. And these papers just seem to be confirming that. Uh, and on the front, you have the guild seal of the West Coast Courier Group. You would know that guild seals in any official uh, capacity are very difficult to forge and very difficult to get hold of, so this guy's probably legit. Um, can, I, can I do an investigation roll? <clears throat> yes, you certainly can. Uh, yes, that's this button. That is this <laughs> Here button. we go. Hey, there we go. 16 plus 5 is 21. A 21, yep. So you look through. <clears throat> it is um, a, uh, a sort of a, a leather bound outer casing with some uh, with with just some nice thick paper uh, in in the, in the middle. Uh, and so on the outside, you have this brass uh, West Coast Courier Group guild seal with West Coast Courier Group uh, in uh, with uh, in a gold gold leaf type for, uh, t- type on the front of it. Um, mm-hmm. It's just WCCG. Uh, you look at it, uh, you, you uh, assess the picture, uh, and you look up at him, you look up, you look down, you look up, you look down, he, uh, he sort of sits up and does that thing when you're having your passport looked at, where you're like, I'm going to try and make myself look like I did five years ago when this photo was taken. Um, it, it appears to be him. Uh, his name is Ivran Gar. I-V-R-A-N-G-A-R-R. Ivran Gar. Uh, <clears throat> he no reaches for his uh, for his guilty and is like, oh, do, do you mind if I take that back? If you're done with it, uh, sure. Yeah. yeah what about your friend? It. Sorry. What about your friend? Uh, he looks over and is like, this is um, uh, this is uh, what's her name? What's her? this? This is uh, this is Anna Anna Dalis. Uh, so the way this is working, which may help you understand what what we're kind of dealing with here, uh, <clears throat> I. I, I I am a I'm an agent of the West Coast Courier Group. Uh, I am on a, on a, um, a reclamation uh, job at the moment. We uh, we I was I was given some papers uh, and told to go and reclaim this this crate that um, that you guys it appears are are uh, are are taking somewhere or other. I, I assume this is the final destination. Um, Anna over here. Uh, she she is my security. <laughs> um, it was uh, this this mission was deemed job. dangerous enough that I may need security, so she is here. She sort of nods, she's like, "All right." And uh, how'd that work out for you? <laughs> uh, well, no offense intended, but it was uh, decided that I could probably take a gnome in a fight if I needed to. Um, <laughs> although, yes, uh, that that whole thing didn't go too fantastically well. But any of us, a uh, good thing Teeth here was here, and he pats his pseudo dragon. Um, but um, but yes, it's uh, <clears throat> this whole thing has gone a tad downhill. We 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 we'll, we'll, I think we're both in agreement there. Um, um, okay. Yes. So, in answer to your question, <clears throat> I. I don't know what's in the box either. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! Uh, he brings no. out some papers and and hands them to you. He's like, "Feel free to look through them." Um, the 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 cargo is redacted. I don't know. This is how I receive. I don't know this either, which concerns me greatly, and is why I'm suggesting you guys just whew, out by the because this happens very rarely, and it's either. The WCCG don't know, or the WCCG don't want anybody else to know if this falls into the wrong kinds of hands, if you know what I mean. This concerns me greatly, and I've been given a guard detail. I'm just okay. saying. Can I can I have a look at the redacted papers? You certainly can, yes. You you, you have I won't make you roll for it, you look through, and again they have the guild seal sort of at the top where yeah. you would expect the um like on a letterhead, you would expect like the address to be there. It's just the guild seal. Uh, it's it's handwritten, right? Uh, no, it's printers. typed out on a typewriter. Um, on a typewriter, <clears throat> okay. Yep. Um, can I? Is there a candle on the table? Uh, there. No. So the 
the the bar itself is lit by um the the and you you would know how this works uh, being a being a mechanically minded person uh the the bar is sort of lit with wall sconces uh, and it has the same crystals that are used in the crystal fiber cabling that powers mm-hmm. most things on the gubbin and other places um the 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 crystal that is used to um channel magic and re- it, this this structure just reacts very well with magic in general um will have the light cantrip cast on it and it will hold that for quite a while uh these these crystals are starting to get a little bit dim um but yeah no people don't tend to use open flames indoors i hold the redacted papers up against the light to see if i can see what's below the redaction ink <clears throat> roll an investigation check 17 plus 5 is 22. Okay. Um, you look through. You have a look at it. Um, nothing seems to have been written underneath from what you can tell. You would expect to see like bits of letters or something. It seems this was just printed with just a massive black bar <laughs> across it. Damn it. Okay. Oh, worth a shot. Uh, all right. Well, I just sort of look a little disappointed. Don't say anything and just hand the papers back. Thank you. There. Thank you very much. So, <clears throat> look. Um, I'm sure you find I'm sure you're finding my paperwork to be in order, uh, and I, I, for what it's worth, uh, although understandably, if this is questionable to you, I can give you my word on top of that. Um, if you want to come with us to the warehouse just to make sure that we definitely are taking it and whatever, then by all means. Um, but uh, yeah, I this is this is a dangerous one. Um, with that said, uh, and he looks over to his uh, his associate and looks back. So, like, you are currently in possession of about five thousand golds worth of West Coast Courier Group money, I believe. God damn it! No. <laughs> um, uh, he see he sees this kind of mm, this uncomfortable. He's like, I- I'm not suggesting I'll take it away. I actually want to suggest a, a way in which you could maybe uh, legitimately earn that if you prefer. Um, given that I'm sure you are, I think it's clear to all of us right now, you're probably not going to receive the other half of whatever money you were promised for this. Um, and uh, we being on a... I'm going to say undercover. Would you say undercover's right, Anna? And she sort of rolls her eyes. Uh, and he's like, oh, we're on an undercover mission here. Um, teeth even squirms next to you and kind of just like... Pfft. Um, and um, as such, we need to charter uh, a ship to take us and this cargo somewhere else. And we feel that, you know, you probably would like to keep 5,000 gold. Don't see why anybody wouldn't. We need to charter a ship. And quite frankly, you know more about this crate than you should by this point. It's just going to be a lot easier for us just on the way home to just not have to cloak and dagger the whole thing, if you know what I mean. So we are offering you, I would say quite frankly, an obscene amount of gold to just take us to the nearest WCCG depot. And then you can keep the gold. It'll be all above board. What do you reckon? Hmm... You don't, you don't know anything about what's in this box. Is it, is it a time-sensitive mission? Is there any danger that the we, crate could become more dangerous than it is now? I mean, we're, ex- we're expected back sort of within the next few days. Uh, I don't have any information. I, I just get told mm. to go where I go, and then I pick up my paycheck at the end of the month. You know what I mean? Well, we were trying to decide what to do next, and... The Gubbin does have a spare room. Yeah, see? Perfect. Uh, but uh, it's not my ship. I can't make that decision for you. You'll have to speak to oh, my colleague. Oh, right. I assumed Arthur. you were the captain. Where is the captain, then? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> point at, uh, is Hertha on Joey's shoulders or is Joey on Hertha's shoulders? Joey, yes, come Hertha's. back over to the, uh, to the stage. <laughs> yes. now, a, a, a good five minutes or so has passed. What was happening in that time, guys? Uh... <laughs> Well, her is so kind the, of swinging the, the, back the, and forth. She's dancing, but she's very obviously drunk. 
Yes, yes, Hertha is, is, is off her face, as it were. The, the bars, the musicians were playing some music, but were keeping to the back wall, uh, largely to let you guys just continue doing what you were doing, because whatever it was, it was working. But also, you're a tall lass with another you know, lass of average height on your shoulders. Um, if you fall <laughs> over, something's getting broken, and they don't <laughs> want it to be them. Um, in fact, uh, Hertha... Um, couple of minutes in the room starts to really spin i would like you to make a dexterity saving throw please oh, God. <laughs> at disadvantage because you're drunk oh no okay so i do please i do use the Joey. website for this right sorry yes yeah i do okay saving throw dex i sent you a link oh god it's cool okay it's <laughs> 18 plus 2 so it's 20 yes okie dokie um so with disadvantage though so roll again oh fuck Take Please the no. lowest number. <laughs> Probably lower than 20. Oh, it's 11. 21. It's 11. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so, her, you stagger <laughs> forward onto the stage. Joey, you're slightly more um, sober. Not completely, but slightly more. Um, you, and of course, <laughs> given the height you're at, you kind of feel this swaying a lot more than Hertha would have done. Uh, and you're just like, whoa, whoa, Hertha starts like tiptoeing towards the front of the stage. The people in the front <laughs> row are kind of like, whoa, okay. And you can see just like a pit opening. Have you guys seen School of Rock? <laughs> you know the start of School of Rock where Jack Black just face plants the concrete? It's, it's looking like this could be how that goes. Um, but as, uh, as, as Hertha sort of reaches the front of the stage, um, you sort of like shift your weight a bit further back and she starts staggering backwards again. You kind of manage to wrestle <laughs> control of this, uh, this large barbarian. <laughs> Take the <woman>. reins. <clears throat> um, Ivram looks up, uh, next to you, Ren, and he's like, oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> no. would, yeah, would you like to see if they, uh, intro. I mean, we we can we can bring them over here. We have a relatively large booth. If it would, if that's wise. Hang on. Uh, just take table knowledge. How far are we from? How far are we from the gubbin? Uh, the gubbin no is about here, twenty minutes away. It's about a mile-ish okay. to the uh, to the long right. term mooring. Okay. Uh, I- I'm going to say, speaking on behalf. Of my inebriated <laughs> colleagues mm-hmm. and being a little tipsy myself, mm-hmm. I feel like perhaps we'd be best off leaving this till tomorrow morning. We can meet here in the morning, and in in the meantime, we can talk about whether we whether we want to do this or not as well. And we are okay with that. There. We're staying in a room upstairs, so we'll be here. <laughs> I, I was gonna I was gonna say Ren stops herself from saying I know, but I think that's. <laughs> Joey knows that, right? <laughs> Did she tell us? I can't remember. Uh, jo- yeah, Joey told you. Okay, so yes, yes, Ren stops Joey, herself Joey. from going, I know, because that's just creepy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I it. know where you sleep. <laughs> um, I know how long you've slept okay. there. Uh, it's like, well, okay, uh, well, I'm, I'm glad we could clear that up. Again, very sorry with how that all went. Um, mm-hmm. uh, have, ha- have, a, have a couple of drinks on us, um, or maybe some bread. Uh, for 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 your captain, but I thought they only had peanuts. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yes, uh, we'll 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 be here in the morning. What we're we saying, like seven eight ish kind of thing, or yeah, yeah, sounds sounds all right. Okay, sounds good. Well, um, not to sound like I'm shooing you, but um, you know, uh, you're welcome to join us if you want. But uh, we're probably going to head off upstairs at some point shortly, anyway. So um, you know, do you do you, mate? You do you. YOLO, as the kids say. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> oh, uh, I am going to go... All right, well, I'll see you in the morning, and then yes. I'm going to head back to our original table where my drink is. Yep, okay. It's over the other side of the bar. Use it. Yep. Yep. Oh my god, Sparks, you remembered to ask someone's name. We... We asked someone's I name. Don't no. think I did. I think they just told no. me their name. He- no, you asked about Anna. Oh, yeah. yeah, I asked. Oh, I, yeah, I asked. I asked in what capacity they were there. Uh, <laughs> not that information their just name. Not even, to come not even like, what, yeah. what is your name? Just like, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> just like the intro. Oh, yeah, they don't know my name. They don't know your name. They just know you exist. <laughs> Yeah. Now we know how it feels. <laughs> Turns out it's uh, it's it's not custom in Alma to ask for someone's name <laughs> <laughs> upon meeting them. Okay, um, Ren doesn't like giving out her name. 
So she, she could have just been Haley. So how does the rest of the Haley, night yeah. go for you guys? I'm just sat um, nursing my drink and watching the other two stagger around right now. So okay, um, are, are you just going to try to do um, a pirouette? Oh, oh God! Roll, roll me a disadvantage, Dex. <laughs> I don't know what you just said, and I'm scared. Wait, is, is it a, a saving pirouette? throw or is it a? It's a Dex. It's just oh, a Dex. Oh, it is a saving throw. A saving throw? Am I doing something yes. wrong? Yes. Oh are you saying You've this is the wrong you, decision to make? You, you have triggered a trap, and the trap here is gravity. <laughs> okay, so there's a natural <laughs> twenty plus. Uh, two. That's great. And then is a disadvantage. Yeah, so give me what I'm going to assume is a lower number than 22. <laughs> 16 plus 2 is still 18. <clears throat> yeah, you do a pirouette. Uh, and With actually, Joey on top of my shoulder. It's, it's, quite, it's quite graceful how you manage to do it. <laughs> Joey, make me a dexterity saving throw at disadvantage, please. <laughs> it's not fair. She blew it for me. <laughs> Um, oh, four. that's not a good start. <laughs> <laughs> Joey's only good at flirting. <laughs> and a three. I think um, she's flirting with danger. <laughs> so, Ooh, get him. <laughs> as I was saying, uh, the the pit has opened up, as it were. The Red Sea has parted. He said, "the the water is sailors." Uh, and, <laughs> And, and you, Joey, are Moses. Moses? No, Moses was the other one. No, it was Moses. <laughs> Let my people go. Yeah. Part the sea. You fly off. Uh, you, the, fa- the, the famous Moses <laughs> story where he flies off the show of a big barbarian <laughs> woman and face plants the floor. Uh, take it. That was a lot of biblical nuance <laughs> to what essentially boiled down to Joey gets yeeted <laughs> off the stage. Uh, yeah, you know, that, that famous Bible passage where uh, Moses takes Let four, my people four points throw, of <laughs> dice. My people throw. Uh, Moses takes four points of contextual damage as she slams into the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic! Great, thanks, uh, Joey. You stand up uh, and you you reach up and like sort of like check your nose hasn't broken again. Uh, it's bleeding <laughs> slightly. Um, <laughs> Ren, you see this? Everyone sees this. Uh huh. It's uh, very. Just... That is not but for the viewers and and me. What's contextual damage? <laughs> contextual damage is a tool that a DM has in their toolkit uh-huh. where I can go if something would have hurt I'm going to make you take damage for it perhaps uh, so in this case Joey fell what seven eight feet all all, all, all when all said and done uh, and so it does actually the- count as a reduction on hit points yes um, okay. blessedly she's going to go sleep next so it probably doesn't matter that much but mm-hmm. it's a good way to introduce the fact that if you do dumb shit I will roll a d4 and tell you how much damage you take <laughs> Um, Hertha was the one who did the dumb <laughs> shit. my taxes. You, you were on top of her while she was drunk. You are just She as put me up there. <laughs> so your nose is bleeding. Some people are patting you on the shoulders, which is uh, now a little bit sore, and just been like, hey, that was funny. And then they stumble Ren, off Ren, mid-sentence. Ren is going to, like, hurriedly, slightly, swayingly hu- hurry over to to you and try and, like... Essentially, like, do that thing where you support somebody by having their arm around your shoulder, but it's all it does is like slightly raise you off the ground. I, hmm. I started like kind of, I started like kind of, just like, maybe hey. it's time we go back home, guys. Yeah. I started kind of, I was like, shit, there's no weight on my shoulders anymore. Wait, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> and then she looks down and she sees Joey. She's like, oh shit. Oh, <laughs> Joey's just kind of gonna be like, where's the pretty bartender to nurse me back to health? Uh, does anybody want to roll an investigation check to see where the bartender is, or is she, or is she being dragged <laughs> home? <laughs> oh, I heard that can't do fucking anything. She's just like, she's like just Dungeons shit-faced. and Dragons is a wonderful game where you can do pretty much anything you want within reason. But I'm, I'm, I'm. Those are the most sensible courses of action. <laughs> uh, Actually, can I, I roll to see if I see the dude? The what's that? <laughs> can I see it? Like, does Hertha see the half of that we met earlier today? In the booth? Uh-huh. Yeah, we oh. went up there to cause a can distraction. Uh, yeah, you can have okay, a look yeah. around if you want. So do I see... Okay, I see him, right? Uh, I mean, you... Uh, <laughs> you I'm not even going to make you roll. You, you look around, you can't see anybody that matches that description. You see, like, a couple of half-orcs, but none of them are, like, you know, that one. Um. So, yes. 
Uh, I'm not going to try and look for the bartender because I feel like Joey has looked better and <laughs> it, on her behalf, I think I'm going to try and get her back home. Yeah. Chicks dig her scars, up. Sparks. Huh? Sorry? Chicks dig scars. Yeah, when they've yeah, healed. I don't know. <laughs> Missing teeth, however. <laughs> <laughs> Different story. So, all Ren and all in all just like escorts the, uh, the the other two out of the bar, and uh, you stagger home. the The night air hits you like a freight train. What alcohol is in your system uh, mixes with the oxygen in the air, and whilst the fresh air is lovely, you can smell kind of the. Um, uh, it's an interesting smell being like up in the clouds because, like, normally on a port side town, you would smell the sea you can't really smell that it just smells like fresh dew a lot of the time especially at night that smell is really kind of uh more prevalent then it does also smell like a dock so there is that but you know it's it's a nice fresh overtones underneath the general smells of people carry heavy things here all day and that could smell kind of hangs around a bit you stagger <laughs> through it and you you sort of walk back up the mountainside path uh and you you make it back to the gubbin um, with uh, with no no concerns whatsoever, uh, and everything is great. No extra damage. <laughs> uh, you guys make it back to the Gubbin with no concerns whatsoever. You all move back to your uh, respective rooms. Uh, <clears throat> and yeah, unless there's anything specific you guys want to do, uh, you, you you go to sleep, uh, and everything yeah, everything is fine. The smell ah. of incense is just. <laughs> it hits you like a brick wall when you get in. Um, in actual fact, Hertha, make a constitution saving throw, please. Fuck. Did we ever actually clean out the fridge? Oh, fuck. Yes. Yes, you did. Okay. I think we did. Let's just throw the it. entire fridge over uh, That's a seven. <laughs> there was discussion about doing it. That was a seven. Um, I rolled a so, seven. So, uh, Hertha, upon walking into the... So, okay, right, you're not in your rooms anymore. So... People just all walking first. Ren helps uh, Joey stagger in. Uh, Hertha, you walk into the room. Uh, the, the incense hits you. It is a sickly sweet smell mixed with kind of the acrid smell that incense, uh, cheap incense sticks have when they reach the end and the wood starts to burn. Uh, it, hit, it just hits you all at once. The room spins. You stagger back downstairs into the cargo hold to find the bathroom. Uh, I would like you to make a... I'm going to say an athletics uh, skill <laughs> no, check. No, no, no. Let's please. do an attack attack roll to see if I hit the toilet. No, 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 no. <laughs> we're, 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 we're doing this my way because that's how this game works. Make okay, a, wait. Make a... what, what should I roll? What should I roll? Athletics, if you would, please. Athletics I was just going to ask if we had a yeah. pee closet. Yeah, it's downstairs on the um, uh, cargo bay. <laughs> Natural one. Uh, you are like, I need to hit the toilet. I need to get to the toilet. You can feel the you can feel the vomit coming up. It's about to make itself present. Uh, and then while you're thinking about that, you are not thinking about where your feet are, uh, and you forget in your moment of drunken panic that there is a slight lip on the door that goes into the cargo bay. You trip over that and go hand over head over ass. <laughs> Um, and as you're doing that, you just land on your side and just vomit all over the cargo bay floor. <laughs> Great. Thanks a lot, Hertha. <laughs> it's my boat, shut up. <laughs> uh, Ren and Joey, you are vaguely <laughs> aware through the echoing uh, noises coming up from the stairwell, but that's probably what just happened. It's like, <laughs> 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 yes, but with some crash, echo. crash, crash. <laughs> 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 okay. I Ren Ren is tired and slightly drunk. <laughs> she just like wrinkles her nose, and I believe I closed my door earlier, so the yep. smell should be like contained. So I'm just gonna leave it for tomorrow, and yes. I'm gonna go into my room, which hopefully smells a little better. Do I have a window I can crack? Um, yes, you do. Yep. And by crack, I mean open, open a small fully. amount. Uh, you have a porthole uh, that open opens. a small amount permanently. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's fine. You open that. Yeah. You I am going to go door. to bed. You go to sleep. <laughs> Joey, uh, you've just been left to it. Uh, you, you're you leaning against the table. Do you want to do anything specifically, or are you just going to bed? I'm um, just going to yell out the door and be like, did you die? <laughs> um, <laughs> you just like a, a constitution saving throw, please. Oh, shit, another one! Oh, <laughs> oh, God. How many fucking contexts have I done? 
seven plus four is eleven. Okay, cool. Um, oh, no. You're you're very tired. You try and lift yourself up. Um, you're conscious, so you hear oh. from upstairs. Just you all right? Yeah. Uh, Joey, <laughs> you hear that coming back up the stairs? <laughs> Be like, okay, well, good night. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Joey Alex, goes we bed. just saw all of that. <laughs> That's fine. Um, uh, yep, yeah, Joey goes to bed, uh, and yeah. <laughs> uh, Hertha, do I just uh, fall asleep in my own puke? If you want to, you can do yeah. that. Hertha <laughs> just passes out in the cargo bay, and and that's it. <laughs> then, in the middle of the night, while she's sleeping, she just like rolls over in her sleep into the pile of puke. <laughs> oh no! Charming. <clears throat> Time passes, <laughs> um, and uh, soon, soon as night came, the morning comes. Uh, Ren, you're made uh, aware of this first because your window is wide open. You can just hear the sounds of a long-term moorings in the morning a- being active, um, and say so the smell of the fresh air sort of wafts through. Uh, you weren't too particularly drunk, so you're not massively hungover. Mm-hmm. So that's fine, um, Joey. I would like you to make a constitution saving throw, please. I didn't think Joey was that drunk either. I thought she was just being disgusting. Oh, the DC's bar. relatively high, don't worry. Low, you mean. 21. Yep, you wake up and you're just like... <clears throat> you rub your nose uh, and there's just some like dried blood on it and you're like, oh, yeah, that happened. <laughs> um, so you have that going on for you. Uh, you sort of just make sure everything else is in order uh, your head is pretty clear so that's good um, Hertha <laughs> good morning DC is 30 um, I'd like you to make a constitution save for me please which will answer the question how Seven. are you doing this morning Seven. yeah Hertha is deceased <clears throat> so the cargo bay is reinforced um, <laughs> but there is a uh, there is a a, a person sized door in the um so the 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 front of the uh cargo bay the entire wall sort of comes down to make loading and unloading easier uh, but there is a normal sized door in there for when you just want to leave the ship and don't want to you know put the loading gate down um that's the only window uh in the cargo bay of the gubbin uh it's a small porthole not going to be more than a couple of feet in diameter and the light from that alone is just blinding to you. Your the, your head is pounding. You try and stand up, and you just put your hand in like slightly dried sick. Um, I'm covered yeah. in slightly dried sick. <laughs> you are indeed. You can see the bathroom, um, not more than six feet away from you. Um, <laughs> it has a shower. It has a toilet. It has a sink. Okay, Hertha you- doesn't even take her clothes off. She just goes in the shower. That's probably wise. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> upstairs, what's going on? Uh, Ren, I think, is going to kind of... Does she have a slight headache? I think she no. probably has a bit of a headache, right? No, 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 she's fine. Not at all? She's fine? Okay, she's going to slink A little bit dehydrated. kitchen. But, yeah. I was going to say slink to the kitchen and just down a couple of glasses of water. Yeah. Yeah, you do that. Uh, okay, yeah, you do that. You feel a little a bit bleary, better. you know, not really paying any attention to what's around her, just autopilot... Mm-hmm. Drinking, mm-hmm. yeah, you, you feel a bit uh, better. It's fine. Uh huh. Cool. Uh, is the only bathroom the one that Hearth is in right now? Yes. Okay, this I'm going to go down. This is a small ship, and just because it has four bedrooms or four crew quarters doesn't mean it's like designed to contain that. Yes. Intending to pee, I'm going to head down to the uh, to the bathroom. Oh, you step in the sink. Okay. Now, there's no bathroom on this. Uh, because I just remembered that you guys needed one, um, but <laughs> <laughs> um, but imagine there is one uh, where Hertha is. I guess we it's, piss out it's, the it's in here. Like men. So so here is the um, where's the brush? Uh, oh god, <laughs> uh, hard round. This is really big. Editing the bathroom. Oh, it's very orange. Is it orange? <laughs> Uh, the bathroom I is. I knew we shouldn't have gone with that 80s decor. <laughs> the bathroom's there. There you go. I'm doing this with a mouse because my graphics tablet isn't plugged in. But there, the bathroom's here. Hearth is in it. 
Uh, yeah, so you've walked down, uh, you sidestep the puddle of sick, uh, and yeah, you're just out of there. Okay. I look in the bathroom. Is horrible. the door open? Um, did, did her yeah. go in a rush particularly? Yeah, and she didn't close yeah, the, the door. Yeah, the door is just like open. It's not wide open, but like it was kind of, you can tell it was probably just like nudged with her foot as she went back in and attempt to close it's it. It's also like a f- like footsteps of sake to go into oh, yeah. the bathroom. Yeah, it's And also when you look great. into the bathroom, what you see is her in the shower and like her head is just leaning against the wall, just the water is just pouring down <laughs> over her. She's not even moving. <laughs> So she's completely Rem- soaked, and the sick of just like kind of crackling, just falling off of her into the shower drain. Ren is like, Hertha. <laughs> um, is how like bad a, is it? Like you know how bad is it? Huh? You know how bathrooms echo. Uh, it's not. Yeah. It's not fun. It's not fun for Hertha. Oh no! <laughs> Ren playing the symbols. How bad is it? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna shout. I was gonna go. I said, "How bad is it?" But I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> no, because uh, apparently talking normally was bad enough. And like, do you want to borrow my welding visor again? <laughs> <laughs> again. You say that as if this has happened so many times. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm figuring it'd be good for like dulling the light, right? Like sunglasses. You have goggles on your head, but like this is like a cone of shame. <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> I'm not giving my goggles <laughs> to anyone. How will I? How will people know I'm a fashionable gnome if I'm not wearing my goggles? That's very true. That's that's very valid. Yes. She's gonna take. She's gonna take a black black piece of cloth and just like cover her eyes. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Since since. Arthur is now blindfolded. Ren is going to. No, she hasn't done it yet. She hasn't done it yet. <laughs> oh, okay. I was gonna. All right. I'm like, um, how badly does Ren need to pee? Is that something that I can ask you, or is that something I can decide? <laughs> do I have to pee, Mister D? <laughs> <laughs> you probably do. Like, okay. Um, I'm gonna say you have a couple of options. You can either continue down this path, in which I stream viewers and everyone before whichever chosen deity they go with has to watch you and Mir roleplay you asking if you can take a piss while she's in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> or you can go out and you can use the public restrooms in the in the long stay docking that you're in. There is another option that Joey was going to utilize which is pee in the sink. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> you're all just terrible people. <laughs> Hertha. Hey, what did Sparks do? <laughs> Are you going to be along? Hertha just kind of like lifts down and just waves at the toilet. <laughs> Go for it. I don't fucking care. Hi, toilet. Um, <laughs> the toilet waves back. It's a minute. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> no! Ren loses one butt cheek. At least we found out before I sat on it. <laughs> <laughs> Ren, uh, D&D humor. Ren goes for a piss, it's fine. Whoa, it? whoa, whoa, no, no, no. Ren, Ren is going to, like, blush. She's going to go and, like, get that cloth. Get, like, the dark cloth from upstairs. Bring it to Hertha. <laughs> and when she puts it on, uh, then she pees. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Very self-consciously. And as quietly as possible. <sighs> <For God's sake. laughs> Welcome to a tangent about dragons where we roleplay silent piss. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite Hideo Kojima title. <laughs> uh, Upstairs, okay. uh, Joey, you stagger out of your bedroom. What's cracking? <laughs> Sorry, um, <laughs> she's gonna kind of look around and peek into Ren's room and see that they're not there, and gather from that that they're in the bathroom. So she's gonna pee in the sink. <laughs> And our DM is going to cry. <laughs> um, for so obviously people watching can see this, um, but the uh, the the other folks on are hosting this delightful stream with with me or, or this delightful video with me uh, can't see the for the purposes of recording. I have put the loading screen up while Joey pisses in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that done. Um, <laughs> now what are you doing? Um. I'm assuming they autonomously wash their hands. Uh, yes. <laughs> washes, washes their hands in the piss. You were all brought up relatively well. In the sink that you just peed in. <laughs> and, and, Shouldn't pee on the, the sink, sink, in the drain. Just pees all over the counter. 
Yeah. <laughs> It's her counter. Ren comes she takes back upstairs. A shit and just shoves it down the drain. Ren comes back upstairs and Joey's just like, "Yeah, the coolant is leaking again. You should fix that." <laughs> <laughs> oh no, oil leak. <laughs> oh fuck! I, I, I doubt Ren can really smell anything amidst the incense, the uh, <laughs> sick, the uh, spoiled food that's still lingering in the air, and. Uh, Joey's B.O. <laughs> is, is Ren back upstairs now? I I gather she okay. is, yes. Did cool. she come in before or after I, Joey pissed After, I, I would after, say. After, blessedly. It was all kind of a simultaneous <laughs> action. Um, yeah. I'm not a particularly railroady DM. Uh, I think there, uh, there is a time and a place for it. Um, but generally, I like to see uh, what my players can get up to with the uh, the worlds that, that we create together. Um, with that in <laughs> mind, please, for the love of God, do something else. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Joey's gonna ask Ren, like, okay, what what did you get out of that guy last night? Did he bust you? Did you find something in his pockets? What was the deal? I was gonna wait until uh Hearth is up here, but that <clears throat> could take a while. Uh so I guess we can just talk about it first. Uh, As you guys yeah. say that, you guys hear some very heavy steps just thumping up the stairs from the cargo hold. <laughs> <Some, laughs> like squelching heavy. at the squelchy same time. Squelchy yes. Squelchy steps. Hertha yeah. comes in, she is still drenched. Uh-huh. Um, she has washed out all the sick, but she just continues to her room, not saying who's, anything. Whose job is it to clean, like, the floor and stuff? Um, well, Hertha's Hertha's the captain, now. so she decides that. I'm just trying to work out how... Everything is wet now. How it's just like a wet trail. Ren ought to be about the, uh, soggy foot tra- <laughs> footprint um, trail. Yep, Hertha, Hertha's the captain, Hertha doles out the rolls. Uh, she probably assigned you to Joey. <clears throat> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> are you are you brave enough to assign cleaning duty to no, Joey? No, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a wise move? She just peed in a sink. <laughs> I mean, you guys have enough money to get this thing valeted by this point. Like, <sighs> Ren just, <thinks laughs> just, just, head. just you just like, get a maid. You could hire a cleaner. <laughs> a new NPC okay. that's just always there cleaning <clears throat> up our shit. So I will say. Uh, last session, which was a while ago for us, I will admit, um, you guys, if you remember, uh, <laughs> went to see Ethram before uh, at Warehouse mm-hmm. One before you went to the Docklands, uh, and I believe it was said that you would meet there at seven ish um, to discuss the whereabouts of the crate or something to that effect. Ah, um, I double booked. Yeah. Uh, well, it's about six so... o'clock now uh, in the morning, uh, about twenty past six or whatever. Um, and you said between seven and eight for um, <laughs> welcome to a tangent about dragons where the DM does the scheduling for the players. Uh, <laughs> it's about seven. You said between seven and eight, so you could show up at eight and you're still well within your rights. You could show up at quarter past eight and still be more or less on time. Um, I so I can Joey booked. like this is supposed to be an escape from reality. <laughs> can Joey like bang on Hertha's door and be like, "Hey, we gotta go meet." Big box man. Okay. You gotta let him know about the receipt. Are you coming? You go through there. Hertha, you just hear bang, 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 bang on the door and Joey just talking. Yeah. Hertha has just changed into new clothes. They are, ide- they are identical. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> um, some pieces are the same. Like her big, like her big uh, bear fur is the same thing. It's still drenched. She's not taking it off. She's just like changed into a new tunic. Yeah. And some new bandages around her arms, and just put the soaked bear fur over it. Oh god, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> so, just, so she just like opens up the door and she's like, "Huh? <laughs> we we have to go meet at the man, the crate man. Ephraim. We told him about the receipt. Crate well, man. she, it's Joey. <laughs> <laughs> I know his name. It's Joey. Right. Fair enough. Fair enough." <laughs> He'd be like, we gotta go meet the crate man because of the receipt. Remember we said we'd meet him in the morning. Are you coming or are you not? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Hertha walks out of her room. Okay, cool. Hertha, hungover, stumbling, <laughs> shading her eyes from the, the big uh, like windscreen. Oh, no, she puts on the on the blindfold. Like the, It's like a sheer piece. It's the same as the bandage she's wearing. 
I'm gonna say like, sunglasses sheer. exist. You probably own a pair of sunglasses. No, but no, no. Her, her, you, you Hertha, yeah, actually. Well, Hertha, Hertha does not. Yeah, Hertha does yeah. not own <laughs> sheep. <laughs> Hertha yeah. would die first. Hertha doesn't even have an extra fur. Okay. Things are about to get puts on ragged scrap of cloth. <laughs> Hard to see. Why? Ow! <laughs> what the hell was that? Let it, um, that was the CSI let, opening. Let yeah. the record show that editing that into the recording <laughs> is well within my power, and I chose not to for you, the viewer. Um, it was so good, we're going to get copyright strike. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Anyway, okay. So, Ren, so Ren, Ren is going to be like, guys, uh, we need to talk while you were uh, not uh, talking to people. What? at the bar yesterday I went and talked to the people who attacked us yesterday turns out they're like almost basically government officials and we probably shouldn't have been attacking them Less but they so did government attack officials, us first they, they hit us first they're, they're they with- did attack us first yeah. no they didn't uh, but <laughs> they are basically <laughs> offering us like more money to <laughs> deliver the box and them to the closest um, uh, West Coast courier group. Table correction. Base. They offered us to keep the money we already have. Yeah. Say, this, this information yeah. is wildly inaccurate. Yeah, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm aware, but I, I don't want to talk about having to give the five right. grand yes, back. Okay. Um, Joey and Hertha, roll history checks for me, please. History. Yes. Do you want to go first? Uh, here? Yeah, Hertha first, then Joey. Nineteen plus one. It's at twenty. I have a plus okay, one cool. in history. Okay, cool. Unnatural twenty, uh, and then uh, Joey. An unnatural twenty. Unnatural twenty. Okay. Uh, yes, you two are both familiar with the the concept of the West Coast Courier Group. They are a um, uh, as I say, they're a guild. Um, they're basically just f- FedEx. Or whatever, uh, but as a guild, uh, and they are like the people you go to for private courier uh, courier services. Um, it's not where Joey got this job from. Joey picked up this job uh, f- from just the general central post office, um, which is basically the only other real option uh, for for posting something. What was their but name again? The, the 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 guild, the West Coast Courier Group. Uh, or the WCCG, as they will also be regularly uh, abbreviated to, because I'm not saying West Coast Courier Group every time I want to reference them. The Wookagug. The Wookagug. Um, <laughs> <coughs> so yes, you you two are both uh, familiar with them. You you heard of these people. Uh-huh. Um, so yes, uh, and you also know there's like, oh crap, okay, we we beat up some people from the West Coast Courier Group. All right, fair enough. Correction. Joey is just going to be I'm just going to recollect to them who who they are and what they yep. yeah, asked, yeah. or just say I told them. Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. Excellent. Oh. So Hertha goes. Okay. Joey is going to be adamant, and they hit us first. <laughs> Technically untrue, but. <laughs> They, they did hit us first. No, the um, other ones did. Not the West Coast Courier Group. Those did not. He did not hit. He did not attack. He tried to leave. Hertha tackled him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They hit first. Okay. They, they, they seem to think it was just a misunderstanding, and now they want to hire us, I guess, basically, to deliver the parcel. I mean, we, we already have the 5k. We could just leave. Um, well, Ren is really spinning this to her advantage like, here. <laughs> I don't know, like, I feel like we should earn the money legally, uh, instead of having just, like, well, I guess they did give it to us. I don't know, what do you guys think? I, I feel I'm, like we should look in the box. I'm torn between I'm torn between doing the right thing and earning the money properly, and staying the hell away from that box, because it could be really dangerous. They're hiring us? I say we take the money and the box. They're, wait, what are we supposed to do? Okay, this is Hertha asking, obviously. Mm-hmm. He has not been paying attention. Uh, <laughs> with, with, uh, so, so, so your options are basically uh, ditch the box uh, or just carry out a job for the West Coast Courier Group in which they are giving you, as far as Hertha is concerned, they're, they're giving you 5k to um, pick up the box, uh, take it to a secure location, and then you're free of it. Um, course with that you would also have uh the backing of the west coast courier group and one of their guards 
with you. Okay, bearing so in they're... mind how how much fun this has been on the way over there, uh, so and also makes you look good to the West Coast Courier Group. That's which, what I was just as a group say. of new couriers is yeah, it's probably so they are there. traveling with us. Yeah, yes, they will be traveling. And Ryan with has you. offered up the fourth room. I, uh, I, I didn't offer it. That. I said yeah. we have a spare room. Yeah, that's but we basically have to offering the captain. Couch. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Great. Says Joey's Ren, gonna, gonna be say, like, Hertha, you're the captain, you should decide. Joey's gonna point out that's a terrible idea. <laughs> I don't want to decide anything. But, <laughs> um, yeah, okay. If it gets us brownie points. <laughs> Which, Hertha, they are not actual brownies. Fuck. With with twenties, you guys would know, uh, especially Joey, as someone who appears to be trying to actually you know, make something of herself as a courier at the moment. Um, West Coast courier group jobs are generally higher paid, uh, slightly higher risk, but better paid than just taking random jobs from the post office. Let's do it. <laughs> This shit. This is the only ship I've ever come across that's an actual democracy. <laughs> uh, okay, let's, let's do captain. it. I guess. Yeah, sure. You okay. guys want to do? It. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. You, you, you know the you know the uh, expression. Uh, oh, captain, my captain. I feel yes. like on this ship, it's more like, oh, captain, <laughs> captain. <laughs> oh my captain. <laughs> oh my captain. Oh, <laughs> captain. Yeah, Even Hertha's okay. doing it. Hertha's like, oh, my captain. <laughs> Why my captain? <laughs> I think it's fantastic. I'm loving this. Well, uh, right, okay, Ren, these Ren's weasels. just going to lower her goggles and sort of go, well, I just hope it doesn't explode. Uh, All right. Um, Okie dokie. So uh, unless there's anything else you guys specifically want to do on the ship, I'm going to say you guys uh, move off. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, let's pop Hertha, these weasels. Let's go. Hertha's going to wait. Until the others leave the boat. Okay. Um, and I am going to. I'm going <laughs> to. I'm going to peek into the fourth room. Okay, okay. Yeah. Do I see what I expect to see? <gasps> oh. Sorry, sorry, the pseudo dragon is acting up. <laughs> uh, do you see what? Sorry. Do I see what I expect to see? Uh, yes. Uh. She's kind of hoped it would just disappear in zone. Oh, fuck. Okay. She closes on. the Rip. door and she locks it again and then she walks out. Yeah. Okay, so you do have the keys. Yeah, I was, I was about yep. to say, uh, Ren's princess to Joey, I think Hertha's just looking for the key. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so the, the ship's all locked up and you, you, you go on the 20 minute walk uh, into town. Uh, Shale, in itself, uh, has a fairly decent tram network and um, has roads for personal vehicles and stuff like that. Um, cars are kind of a thing that exists, but they're all like Ford Model T, like old cars, cars, uh, and and vans and stuff. You will have seen them going back and forth throughout the warehouse district, uh, just taking things from one place to another and all that. Cars? Um, but um, for some reason... Uh, the the tram network hasn't been extended to the long term moorings, so you guys are just walking down uh, twenty minutes to 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 get back to the warehouse district. Mm. Um, okay, so <clears throat> you either are going to the Docklands Hall to meet with uh, with Ivran and Anna, or you're going to Warehouse One to meet with Ethram. It's about seven. Ethram. Well, we promised Ethram first, and we gave him a firm seven, whereas the other ones we were like seven or eight, a bit more yeah. nebulous. Yeah. So okay. I, I figured Ethram. that we can go do the warehouse first, and then go to the tavern afterwards to meet the others. Mm-hmm. By the way, how's my hangover okay. doing? <laughs> uh, roll me a Constitution save. <laughs> Can't save. How many have I done this session? Like, holy shit. <laughs> At least Eight three. Eight plus four, that's twelve. Twelve, you say. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's not great. It's better. Like, since you've had a shower and, you know, ejected some of the uh, problem. Shower. Um, <laughs> but it's not fun. It's not fantastic. Uh, you, you're staggering a bit uh, as you sort of go past the outside of Warehouse 1. Um, <clears throat> and, uh... Yeah, you guys walk through. 
uh, you go down the side of Warehouse 1, you can see the freight coordinator's office, the the, the blinds are shut, uh, and he, you can't see him anywhere, which is exactly how you would want it. Uh, you go in through the side door, up the stairs, uh, you know where Ethram's office is by this point, yeah. uh, and you, you knock on the door, and through through the, the window in the door, you can see him, he's in there, he sees you, he waves, uh, he opens the door, he ushers you in, and you guys sit on the sofa, he's like, ah, you've returned, hello, hey, how, 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 how are we doing? Okay, right. so without being like, you know, all the way we were yesterday, mm-hmm. um, we're just here to talk about the package, you know, we found the people, you know, the receipt is gone, but we did find the people, so we can take it. <clears throat> he sits down and sort of looks a bit sheepish. Um, <clears throat> he picks up a clipboard uh, and runs down it, just double checking things uh, and sort of like moving his glasses up and down is like <sighs> okay listen i i don't know quite what to tell you um it was here last night i i oh. made sure it was here as it left i assure you uh, shale docks is incredibly safe and i'm sure it's just been moved uh in the morning rush sometimes this happens so we can make room for for new things uh that come in in the morning maybe um i have a couple of people looking as we speak, you lost uh, it. Ren it, just puts her hand, her head in her hands, like, oh. Uh, I uh, look. We, we apologize. Um, this this hardly ever happens. I'm sure it's just been moved and not reported properly. Um, the 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 staff lounge will we'll probably have. Uh, I'll, I mean, we'll let you know as soon as we know. Um, uh, as a, you lost the box. Well, half an hour, I'm sure it will show up. Can I can I check to see if he's lying or like? Uh, yeah, give me give me an insight check. Eight plus one is nine. Ooh, um, yeah, he is just endlessly apologetic, um, and and seems genuinely um saddened, uh, and frustrated. <clears throat> okay. The fact that he got that with a nine makes me feel like that's not true. <laughs> so, <laughs> do you have? So this is what Joey is- talking to him. She's like, "Do you have any sort of?" She's like weirdly serious for once because this is actually like one of the things that she's good at. And she's like, "Do you have any sort of security? Anything watching the box? Anything or anyone we can <clears throat> talk to?" I mean, how did have- you lose it? We we have, as I say, we, we, it hasn't been lost yet. We don't know that for sure. Um, we have security that wander around the general district at night. We have police that come back and forth. Um, I'm sure it would have been seen, you know, like it's so, well, well, well the, the, the staff lounge is yours if you wish. Um, you can wait here and he winces at the thought. Um, but you can, uh, half an hour or so, we'll, we'll, I'm sure we'll have found it and we can all just put this behind us. Mm. And he sort of sits there wringing his hands nervously. But- does this uh do the warehouse systems offer any compensation or insurance on lost um packages? So So usually with the return of the receipt to the freight coordinator's office in with evidence that the package or, or your cargo is gone or damaged in any way, uh usually something could have been worked out. You don't have a receipt and the freight coordinator doesn't like you. So <laughs> possible, but I wouldn't fancy your chances. <laughs> Would it be possible for Joey to intimidate him into telling us something more, or does he literally not know anything else? Uh, yeah, give me a roll and tell me how you want to try and do it, I guess. Okay, um, so before I hit the done button, um, <laughs> she's gonna kind ah, of, like, stand up. She's gonna, like, brace her hands on the desk and be like, listen, he if you're his. lying to us or omitting anything about this package that is so... Full of very important linens. <laughs> it's not going to be pretty. <laughs> and we got a eight. Damn it! Oh no! He looks to you. Is like I listen. There's no need to get like like the I just. Those were my mother's linens. <laughs> come, come, come come back in half an hour. I'm sure. I'm sure we'll have found something or or, or, or other. It's, it's still Joey, seven right now. Yeah, it's the best. Joey's it's gonna kind of. Past. Joey's going to look at him and be like, oh, we'll be back in half an hour with the box's rightful owners, and you can explain it to them. Mm-hmm. Ooh. He says. 
Uh, okay, yes, he's like, well, I, I will see you then. Then he glances nervously at the clock. Um, <clears throat> uh, allow me to see you out, and he opens the door for you and holds it open as uh, as I as I assume you leave. Um, so yeah, as you as uh, we as we are about to walk out the door, Hertha stops for an extra two seconds, just looks at him, two very ten mm-hmm. seconds, just looking him in, into the eyes, and then she leaves. Just blinks one eye at a time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> doesn't throw up then. No. Okay. Uh, Noodles, yesterday when uh, when I was talking to them, by the way, they, they showed a lot of documentation showing they were from the West Coast Courier Group. The document about their mission, was it, f- if, with the redacted stuff, was it fairly certain that they had been tasked with <clears throat> collecting the box? So, when you take on a job like this, the ship's name gets taken down, the ship's captain gets taken down, uh, various other information gets taken down and such. Um all of that information was there. They knew that the Gubbin was the ship that had transported it. They knew it was coming here. Uh, the only real thing that had been redacted was the um, uh, the contents, contents of yeah. the crate uh, and its like final location. Uh, it seemed that everyone knew that everyone was sent here because they knew that it, it was going to be here around now. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's more or less all he knew as well from what you could gather okay. so <clears throat> well I guess we we head to the museum. I don't want to go there and tell them we've lost the box we don't <laughs> we tell them that it's at the warehouse and then we let the warehouse people tell them they lost I'm okay the box. with that plan <laughs> <laughs> let's say you go over there you just tell them you tell them the warehouse lost the box like <clears throat> it's fine okay <laughs> You walk through the town. It's um, it's a it's it's a lively port town uh, in the morning rush. So, you guys have to walk through the remainder of the warehouse district. Uh, you move through to kind of a merchants district. There are shops everywhere. There are like three three story buildings. It's like um, uh, it's, I'm gonna say New Yorky, old New Yorky kind of architecture. If that tracks, so it's like terraced house, terraced housing, three stories high, uh, fire escapes and stuff like Brownstones. that. That kind of yeah, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> and there are shops all over the place just selling various things. Uh, you have your normal food produce shops, clothes shops, uh, and then you have uh, things that we wouldn't, uh, as as people in the real world, things we wouldn't be so um, uh, used to seeing, like potion shops, magical item shops, uh, things like that. Um, you walk Is through... There- um, sorry, table knowledge. Is there running water in all of the buildings is there like there some would sort be. of water system there would be yes whether okay. or not it's actual plumbing or some places just have things that are um uh imbued with the create water enchantment some things just work like that here okay um, but yes most places will have running water of some description okay mm. um so yeah, you go back to the Dockens Hall, uh, you go in there, uh, Joey, your um, your muse is not there, uh, it's a uh, a halfling male, um, who's just white hair, uh, glasses, is like, morning, we, uh, we, the, but the bar ain't open until, uh, until about 11 o'clock in the morning, but if there's anything else I can get you, then, uh. Um, Joey's, you know what? You know what? Joey's gonna ask his name. Um, uh, uh, Martin, Martin, uh, Martin, Martin, Martin Greenglade, uh, at your service. Martin, 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 Martin Greenglade. <laughs> Martin. So he's gonna be like, you know what, Martin? You have a nice day. We're just here to meet someone. Uh, okay, well, um, uh, are, are they, are they tenants <laughs> here, or? Uh, uh are they only staying so. here, or? Um, cause who is it? I can, uh, I can, I can give them a, I can give them a call if you like, I'll, uh, I'll let them know you've arrived. And now she's going to look at Ren. Ren is just enjoying the fact that she doesn't have to mother anyone today. <laughs> just like, wow, people are getting stuff done. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, she's, she's going to be like, she's going to be like, yeah, they, they were staying here overnight and we said we'd beat them around about now. So we, we can just go sit down if you <laughs> like. Uh, yep, yeah, sure. I'll um, I'll 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 give them a call, and uh, they'll uh, they'll be with you shortly. And he um he he goes through a side door into a back room. Um, there is nobody here. Uh, you you guys have free reign, so you just find a table and you sit down. Uh, a few minutes later, uh, you see Ivrin, 
<clears throat> bright eyed, bushy tailed. Um, he's uh, he's wearing the same cloak he was wearing yesterday. He's got his um, his his brown satchel, uh, which, if you remember, uh, had teeth in it last time. His uh, his little pseudo dragon, uh, and uh, and Anna uh, also comes down with him. Uh, shortly afterwards, he's like, "Ah, good morning. How are we all feeling?" Her and he looks taken specifically up a whole bench, towards laying down. <laughs> He looks specifically towards Hertha and Joey. He's like, "Mm mm-hmm, as I expected. And he points towards (laughs) Hertha. Joey's just going to do double finger guns. Hertha's going to just like, you don't see, you don't, you you see her leg poking out of the booth, right? Because like her, the rest of her is just like hidden by the table. Mm -hmm. You just Mm -hmm. see her, you you see a raised middle finger coming up from beneath the table. And then she slowly (laughs) comes back, sit down. Uh, They they move around. He looks to Hertha again. He's like, so who's captain today? <laughs> <laughs> he chuckles. Um, uh, Anna rolls her eyes again. Uh, she's like, ignore him. He gets cheeky when jobs are about to be finished. Last time I checked, you guys needed a boat and we haven't made a deal yet. <clears throat> Don't! Yes, cheeky. yes. Yes, exactly. Um, so as I was saying, you guys are in uh, possession of um, of West Coast Courier Group money. Um, that, uh, you know, whilst not technically stolen, would show up as, and as he's doing this, he just pulls out his West Coast Courier Group guild seal, puts it on the table, and just, like, gestures at it uh, while he's talking. Um, <clears throat> so my my um, my my proposal for you guys is that uh, my, my associate and I, uh, we need to get this crate, take it back to the nearest WCCG depot, uh, which is... A decent ship, half a day, a day's flight north of here. Um, what are you trying to say about the govern? I don't know what ship you have. I just know the name. Um, so, um, but yes, uh, a day's a day's flight maximum north of here. Um, you guys want to keep the money. We want to get back as fast as possible. And as I was explaining to your associate here, and he gestures towards Ren, um, it's going to be so much easier for us if we don't have to uh, walk on eggshells, as it were. Uh, around the fact that you know we don't know what's in the crates, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, because you guys don't either. We're all on the same page here. You guys make five thousand over the over the next twenty four hours, uh, and then we just wash our hands of the whole situation. And my uh, my superiors will take hold of this crate and do whatever they need to do with it. How's that sound? Jo- Joey's gonna raise one eyebrow and be like, "And this was too difficult to explain originally because <clears throat> he sighs. He's like, <clears throat> so I'm sure you've noticed." Anna here, and she just kind of like, hey, um, and oh, uh, make Joey notice Anna. Sorry, I said let's not have Joey notice Anna. <laughs> let's not have Joey notice Anna. She is she is Anna, a, a she's a, voice she's, than Ren. She's a human. Uh, she's about five five nine five ten, dark skin, muscly build. Seems like now I say it out loud, the kind of person that Joey would have noticed. Um, and she's just standing there, just a long coat, uh, just like yep, yeah, hey. Uh, is like uh, <clears throat> WCCG agents only get assigned uh, security if the job is thought to be dangerous. Obviously, it doesn't make sense to pay two people. Um, that coupled with the fact that we don't know what's in the crate, the only advice I was given by my superiors upon leaving was that we suspect that the the Dallin family crime family uh, may be involved in this um i mistook uh, i suspected that uh, you your associate here he gestures at ren uh, may have been part of that outfit uh, and acted accordingly uh, it was a um uh it was a decision i made when i decided that i didn't want to risk walking into uh, and an engagement with uh, somebody who's related to organized crime. I'm sure you understand. Ren, um, given Ren that Joe- eyes amplified by the goggles, just looks at him in an offended way, as like as if to say, "How can you imagine that I would be part of an organized crime group?" He he sees this and he's just like, "You never know. You never know. We were warned. Uh, we got here late." I, I made it. I made a judgment call. It turned out to be the wrong one. Uh, I apologize on that behalf. Um, Given uh, that Joey was raised in an organized crime group, could she roll a history check to know 
if she like rack her brains to know if she's heard of this family wait, before. Wait, wait, yeah, what? Sure. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah what? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, table knowledge. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have your secret. So does she. <laughs> uh, fourteen. Uh, you, the Dallin family. Um, so you're not from this tether, but you've heard things back and forth. You did your research when you took this job. The Dallin family are uh, well known on this tether and some of the tethers surrounding. Uh, they are the de facto crime family. Uh, there are a couple of other ones that occasionally try and spark up turf wars, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but the uh, so she, the Dallin. Like- she recognizes them by name, but that's about it. She recognizes them by name. Yes. Okay. Yes, indeed. Um, um, Hertha and Ren roll history checks as well, I guess. See if you guys know this. Uh, Hertha it's... first, Ren second. Wait, me first? Mm-hmm. Yes. Eleven. Uh, yep, Hertha, you've never heard of these people in your life, oh, Ren? Very understandably. Ooh, five. <laughs> A five. Um, yeah, you know exactly who these people are. Um, the, uh, you are, hmm, how to, how to say this without giving away too much of your backstory to the table and other people. You know who these people I, I are. I wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> I was too You heard the Dallin affronted. family. Yeah. You, you heard Dallin family and your ears bricked up and you were like, oh, um, yeah. It's slightly more understandable why he would have been extra cautious to you. Um, and I will explain later <laughs> to you in private. Um, mm-hmm. But yes, no, you understand. You you understand the gravity of the situation now. Oh, yeah. the case. So so yes. Um, so, he's he's like, so yes, I I I made a, I made a judgment call based on that knowledge. I apologize. So Joey's going to be recognizing the name. Joey's going to be like, I see now why you needed a babysitter. Uh, <laughs> they both chuckle and it's like, yes, yes, indeed. Um, but yes, so you understand why I would like to um, get this get this package out of this city in as timely and smooth a manner as possible, I assume. Alright, so which of us is going to lie to him to get him to the warehouse where the warehouse can explain <laughs> the problem? I assume this is table talk. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so hypothetically, guys, which one of us is going to... Oh, crap, he heard me. <laughs> hypothetically, Joey with a megaphone. <laughs> Who wants to lie? <laughs> I mean, like, I think her, I think her is just gonna there. like stand up and just start walking. Okay, and then just be like, uh, we can just come say on. We, we left the parcel at the warehouse. Hertha's yeah, already leaving, so I guess Joey's be like, "Well, he the parcel's Hertha at the leave. warehouse where Hertha is happy to lead you." I see. Um, all right, he says. Um, I, I he looks to Anna. He's like, I guess we're going to the warehouse. She's like, seems so. Uh, you all get up and you all move. Um, you all move over to the warehouse. Uh, it's, it's been about fifteen twenty minutes by the time this is this has happened. Uh, you go, you reach there. Uh, Ethram is in the main loading bay. Um, the one of these is this one. Uh, Ethram's in the main loading bay. And uh, he's um, just pointing at people who are bringing cargo in and stuff like that. He sees you. uh, He hands over the clipboard he's holding to somebody else and waves you over. He's like, okay, um, so we haven't been able to locate it. If you'd follow me, we'll take you to where it was and we'll do another sweep. Joey's going to kind of put her hand out and be like, could you please explain to these kind people what happened to their package? Uh, Ivran, at that point, does look around and go, yes, if you could, that would be great. Uh, Ethram, a bit shocked that you've brought back up. "Um, Well, uh, you see, uh, we... we," And he he explains the whole thing. He's like, so we, um, yeah... Uh, uh, as you're doing this, the um, the halfling that uh, you have met in this warehouse before, um, Hertha waves. Uh, yes, indeed, the, the one <laughs> Hertha knows uh, comes up and, and she's like, oh, "For God's sake, Ethram!" Uh, and he looks to you guys. He's like, "Look, we're not." And, and then, as she's doing this, she also realizes the delicacy of the situation. <laughs> but she's generally trying to keep something from you, and that's quite obvious. Hertha just looks at the halfling and just raises an eyebrow. 
Uh, roll a persuasion check. <laughs> With my eyebrows. Mm-hmm. <laughs> persuasion. Well, she likes you. Yeah. Oh, two. Minus two. I got a zero. Much- uh- <laughs> um, she, she looks to you, just sniffs. It's like, <clears throat> mm, mm. <laughs> hey, hello, hello, dear. I frown. Um, can Joey try a persuasion check? Sure can. Just kind Honestly, of like, I'm- this is this is uh, the point in every DM's nightmares where you've given your players so many opportunities to roll above what is ostensibly a relatively low number, and they just haven't. I have a minus two <laughs> charisma. Don't fucking you do. <laughs> Don't at me. Nine. She looks to you, and she looks to Hertha, and she looks to the guy behind, uh, and she just goes to Ethram. She's like, "It's you know what this is." Uh, and he just sighs. We would like, like to know what this is. <laughs> Collectively, he, 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 Ethram looks to you guys and is like, "So, <sighs> follow me." And he he gestures down, uh, down a. So you have like corridors of racking with crates on them. He's like, "Follow me," and gestures down like an empty one, as it were. Does the halfling woman follow? Yes, she's going with you. Um, you all go down there, and he's like. So, we haven't been able to find out who or prove anything, but occasionally some packages will go missing. We're pretty confident that it's, like, mob-related. We haven't been able to catch anybody yet, and at that point, uh, the half thing is just like, you know who it is. And he's like... It's his crappy little man that he had in the room before. A light appears above Joey's head, and she remembers uh, <laughs> there was a uh, there was a, a relatively young elf uh, a who was man. very standoffish uh, as he left. Um, do you bring that up? Yes. Joey brings up, and and she was like, uh, uh, the, 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 "There was a crappy little man." <laughs> <laughs> the halfling looks up, and she's like, "See, she knows it's Varen." Varen. Uh, and Joey's gonna be like, "Yeah, I know it's Varen." Yeah. Who is it's, Varen? It's, uh, it's Varen. And he's like, I don't want to throw blame, but... I am already throwing it. Tell me more. Uh, at this point, the half thing is just like, he's in the break room. We can. I'll, I'll go and question him now. If you'd like to come with, by all means. Eartha maybe, goes, I would know. love to come with. Okie dokie. <laughs> um, at that point, uh, Anna and uh, Ivrin just like sort of whisper each other's ear. Uh, and everyone's like, I think we can handle this. Um, my associate here is going to go deal with some other matters in the interim while we <laughs> sort out this little misunderstanding. Uh, at that point, Anna just waves and she leaves. Joey um, wants to go with. <laughs> <laughs> you guys um, walk down these corridors um, and into the break room, and you see this uh, this sort of lanky, uh, long, greasy, black-haired elf. Um, it's like a I say teenager, but like teenager for an elf is like 60. So like Snape. (laughs) I guess if you want to go down that route, yeah, it's like just, he's like, you know, he's, he's a, he's he's in his rebellious phase as an elf. Um, Rebellious phase. He's, uh, there there are some people with him. Uh, There is a gnome and a human that are just sort of dossing about in the break room. Uh, The halfling, uh, whose name you haven't asked at any point, the halfling... (laughs) I remembered Mama Martin. <laughs> Burst through the door <laughs> uh, and uh, looks Varen in the eyes, just like Varen. I've had it. Where? What have you done? With 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 with? Yeah, and she gestures to you guys. Uh, everybody else in the room is just like, Ugh. and the other two people that are with Varen, they just push past you and they leave. Varen looks to you guys. And it's just like, <laughs> it's like, what? 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 What are you on about? What is this? What's the floor um, made out of? Uh, the floor is uh, just wood, hardwood. Ren just drops her the end, one end of her long, heavy wrench onto the floor with a thud, and then just oh, kind of takes a step forward. So there's like a sort of a scraping noise as it comes along Roll behind intimidation. her. Roll intimidation with advantage. That's cool. I like that. I am a terrifying <laughs> tiny lady. Uh, intimidation with advantage. Yes, roll two, take the highest. 18 plus 5 is 23. 
Oh, oh damn. damn. You have plus five in intimidation? Yes. <laughs> Why haven't you been? Uh, 23 was my highest. Why haven't you been doing this more often? What so many fuck? things would have been solved. <laughs> Yeah, why why have we been intimidating people? I didn't know my this... intimidation was plus five. What? Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> this elf uh, is, is making eye contact with the with the halfling and laughing and just joking and generally being a bit of an arsehole. You all jump a little bit as you just hear thunk <laughs> as this wrench just scrapes across the hardwood floor. Uh, he sees Ren and is and suddenly and takes a step back and just sort of like grabs onto one of the sofas behind him. He's like, oh, okay. You, you, you can't prove anything. Um, you, well, you've got Ren's no proof, do- and I, I won't be intimidated like this. While Ren's doing that, Joey's going to kind of like casually lean against the door frame so he can't get past. Are there any other exits, by the way? <clears throat> there is an exit behind him, um, which he immediately looks down at Joey, and then like he, um, uh, looks at Joey, looks down at Ren. Ren, you notice his eyes dart towards that back exit. Mm-hmm. Her, her, her thing is ready to tackle him if she needs to. <laughs> <laughs> she just kind of readies herself, like, <clears throat> okay, let's go. Cool. He's like, you can't, you can't do this. The half thing's like, Baron, just, just admit it. And she, she takes a step forward. At that point, he bolts backwards. Hurt the uh, bolts. Hertha, if you, if you, okay, make a, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say acrobatics check at disadvantage. <laughs> no, why? Well, you're, you're, you're trying to tackle him, aren't you? Yeah, why disadvantage? Because you're hung over as shit. No, that's <laughs> hours ago. Come on. No, it's not. It was it like 30 minutes ago. Okay, ago. it's a seven. So like I fail anyways, whatever. <laughs> um, you this launch is... yourself into the sofa and the sofa just overturns and <laughs> knocks a coffee off the, the, the table. In this like chaos, Veron just leaves. From behind all of you, Ivran just bolts towards that door. Uh, and only taking a second to just go, anyone coming? Hertha just keeps um, going. Hertha keeps going. She just doesn't fucking care. I would like everybody to roll some initiative for me, please. Varon bolts out the back door. Uh, you guys give chase all in uh, varying... Uh... Hang on. Can can How close is Ren to the halfling lady whose name we don't know? Can I kind of grab her by the arm and say, L- lead me round the back? Through the front, if that makes sense, to like cut them off. Uh, she, she, so she. Uh, we're in initiative, so you can do that on your turn if you want. It is Joey's turn first. Uh, Varen sure. has just bolted out of the door, uh, and yeah, Joey, uh, you are the quickest off the mark. What do you do? Um. So because I know the create water spell, I'm gonna try to spread some on the floor in front of him so he slips. Uh, okay, so you get to the door. Uh, you spray your uh, your your create water. Uh, what exactly is the parameters for that? Like how it much says water? Const- it says um, regain the ability to cast it this way. Constitution is your spell casting ability. Mm-hmm. Um, so are you, are you just making the floor wet? Yeah, I think I'm just making a puddle and making the floor really wet. Okay, so uh, you can see him. He's already bolting. You you cast some water, and he sort of like looks down at his feet uh, and stumbles for a second, um, uh, and he just stacks it, falls to the floor, um, and rolls and sort of slams into the side of a van. Uh, he uses that to stand up, um, uh, and but yes, you start making up some ground. Uh, with regards to that, he has he has not got as far away as he perhaps would have done. Uh, are you going to do anything else on your turn? You can try and catch up to him, or yeah, I'm going to try to catch up to him. Okay, cool. You try and catch up to him. You are about 120 feet away, or something to that nature. Um, Ren, it's your turn. I grab un unnamed <laughs> halfling lady by the unnamed arm. Unnamed NPC three. <laughs> unnamed NPC three dot final. Um, yes. <laughs> I grab her by the arm and say, uh, help me cut him off and kind of pull her towards the door we just came through. Uh, so you want to go just kind of like round the front and yes. try and cut them off, as it were. Uh, she goes, uh, I, I I wish I would, but like that was, it's a big warehouse. You, you're probably better off going out that way. And she points to the door that Varen left through. Huh. Um, <laughs> fine. It I, is a big warehouse. Okay. It, it probably yeah. would take you a lot longer. Fine. I look around the break room for pickles or... <laughs> Other uh, 
You have two on you. I have two on me. Oh. Yes. Uh, You haven't taken them off, I assume. Yeah, yeah, but, you know, why use the ones I have if I can use the ones near me? Are there any... It is a break room, like... Investigation (laughs) check. (laughs) This is going to take your whole turn if you do this. Yes. Uh, I see the problem. And maybe the second one. It's maybe too late now, uh, and I got seven, so it wasn't even worth it. No, you wasted you run over water. to You run over to the counter with the sink and the cupboards, you open them, you look through, you can't see any pickles. Oh, I'm just going to do a quick glance, but okay, fine. Oh yeah, you look over there, you can't see anything. That's your action. What are you doing? <laughs> I guess I curse and run after everyone else. You thunder out of the door, you see Joey in front of you, you see... Um, uh, you see, uh, so Joey's sort of like in front of you uh, at distance, and then uh, Veron is twice that distance ahead of her. If that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, you 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 bustle out the the back end of these warehouses. There's uh, two um, rolling shutter doors that kind of allow vans and stuff to go through back and forth. Uh, and then across the road, you can see it's wide enough for vans and forklifts to get through. And then across the road, you can see the back shutter doors for the warehouses across the road laid out. In a, uh, in a similar thing. Uh, a van is parked in the uh, loading bay across the road. You can see uh, a guy has just been pushed to the side. Uh, and they, they're yelling down the road at Varen. Um, but yes, uh, the street isn't incredibly busy, but there are vans and forklifts going back and forth at a speed where if one hits you, it will hurt. Um, <laughs> so yes, uh, Ivrin is also ahead giving chase. Um, there are some crates in the road and stuff where a va- uh, forklift had slammed its brakes on uh, and that's fallen off and there's just stuff everywhere. Uh, Hertha, it's your go. Wait, has Ivrin had his turn already? He went out first. Okay, but okay, yeah. He ducked his head back in, was like, anyone coming, and then left. Okay, I do a double dash, so that's 60 feet. Okie dokie. Uh, uh, yep, so you bolt past Ren uh, and you <laughs> catch up with Joey um, uh, you can see Ivrin a distance in front of you uh, Varen a distance in front of that um, that I believe is your action yes? That's my action and my movement yeah. yes it is okay so you've caught up with Joey now uh, you two are both just all like running in tandem um, your head is pounding but you are far more focused on this uh, your head is pounding partially because of the hangover <laughs> partially because of the sofa <laughs> 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 um, okie dokie um, Varen is going to run you see Varen uh, running ahead uh, he reaches these crates that have fallen off this forklift uh, and he vaults them no problem he doesn't even like put his hand down to vault over it he just leaps, tucks his feet up and clears it uh, sprinting straight forwards um, so da 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 Ivrin's turn, Ivrin tries the same uh, and again, slightly less glamorous, but he vaults it everything's fine. Joey, it's your turn you're approaching these crates Okay, um, yeah, I'm gonna try to vault over them as well Okie dokie, I would like you to make a uh, acrobatics check, please Acrobatics 18 uh, Yep, cool, you leap over these and it's fine, uh, you keep pace uh, if, if anything, you're starting to catch up to Ivrin, uh, which is good. He's he's a speedy lad, uh, but you are starting to catch up to him. Um, anything else you want to try and do? Um, can I try? You can dash the... as well as an action. That's just double your movement speed. Yeah, I'd like to dash. Okay, cool. Yeah, you catch up with Ivrin, uh, and he's just like, all right, he's Ivrin, he, sort of out of breath. <laughs> Just pointing to Warehouse 4, um, which is across the road, and you can see Varen sort of making a beeline towards it. Uh, Ren, it's your go. Uh, everyone has just vroom, yeah. gone straight past you. <laughs> Bye, so Ren. I have no cutting off options available. Not currently, no. No. Um, I don't really have anything do I have to do with the knowledge I have except continuing to chase <laughs> after everyone. I feel uh, like yeah, if you want Gimli to do that. in Lord of the Rings and he's chasing after everyone else. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm you just going dash... to keep eating. <clears throat> yep, you dash forward. Um, you can see uh, some boxes ahead of you. Um, you're approaching them and then you can see your companions racing ahead uh, slightly after them. Varen, 
um, who is just rolling disgustingly well this evening, uh, ducks into Warehouse 4 through one of the sliding doors, uh, the, the, the shuttered doors. Again, much to the displeasure of some of the warehouse workers and stuff, he has gone into there. Uh, Ivram uh, makes a dash uh, and clips a van uh, with his shoulder uh, and sort of stumbles back. Uh, Joey, you are now just the furthest forward person, uh, and it is your turn. Um, He's ducked into a me. warehouse across the road. What are you doing? How far am I from him? Uh, you are, I'm going to say, maybe 100 feet or so, um, but he has just ducked into this warehouse. Okay. Um, you can make so it into the warehouse in this turn if you if you do a bit of a dash. That's Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I'm going to dash into the warehouse after him. Okay, you dash into the warehouse. Uh, you can't really see where he's gone. It's the same layout as Warehouse 1 with all of these rackings with uh, a bunch of crates and such. Uh, make a perception check for me, please. You can kind of hear footsteps thundering. You can only assume that it's him being very flat-footed as he's running through this warehouse. Uh, try and see if you can work out where they come from. Uh, 15. Yep, uh, you zone in. Uh, you know where he's gone. Uh, you know roughly where he's going. You think you can see him through a gap in the uh, uh, in, in, in the crates. That's fine. So next turn, uh, you can nice and easily uh, make your way over there. It, Ren, it is your turn. You have boxes in front of you. Are you going to try and vault them? I, so from my perspective, I've just seen them go into the into the warehouse over there and I can't see them anymore, right? You can see that, yes, from where you are. But I can't see them anymore. They've just gone in. You can... Uh, Joey and Varen have run into this warehouse. You can see uh, Hertha uh, and then slightly ahead of her, you can see Ivran, who has just clipped a van, uh, and, then the, and then Joey and Varen went into this warehouse. Okay. Um, are there any cars nearby, either with drivers <laughs> or... That look like I could just hop in, so I can try there and are... commandeer <laughs> You're a vehicle. To steal a car. Yeah, um, well, basically, okay. I'm like, I'm not getting anywhere by running. Maybe I can just drive around. So around you, there are a number of vehicles, both in motion and parked. Um, looking around, you see a couple of parked small vans, mm-hmm. uh, which again are more like uh, Ford Model Ts on the front, with just a box uh, attached to the back of it. Uh, and you see uh, a couple of forklifts looking around. Make a, um, I'm going to say, investigation check to see if you can work out if any of them are of use to you. Ah, uh, 11. 11. Uh, you look around, uh, you see a, uh, a forklift that has been left to its own devices. Uh, if you'd like to run up to it and try and hotwire it, I will allow you to do that. Oh, hell yeah. This turn. I don't want to make a precedent out of that. So I'm not going to say you're doing it as a bonus action, but I do kind of want to see if you can do it. So let's go. <laughs> what am I um, rolling? So uh, I'm going to say you are rolling a slight of hand, but with Which advantage. Okay, my yeah, slight of hand is buddy. good, so let's see what I yeah. get. Um, well, the way I figure it, you're used to... I got not a number, but that was a oh. 19. Uh, that was a 19 plus... What is my slight of hand? Seven. Oh, oh, fuck. Hell yeah. 26. I'm going to have to work out what's going on. 26 or... Um, oh, much less. So 26. <laughs> <laughs> 26. Yeah, so Ren, you're used to rewiring the critical systems of ships that fly <laughs> and are big. You look at this toy in front of you, <laughs> uh, rip off just an access panel, and without even looking... With one hand, while you like get your hand on the steering wheel and start dry steering the wheels uh, in the direction you want to go, you twiddle some wires around, and this thing just runs <laughs> into life. Nice. Um, you then Hell start yeah. driving away, much to the uh, the the distant displeasure of a couple of warehouse workers. Uh, Hertha, it's your go. Uh, you've just seen uh, Ivran clip a van. You've sort of caught up with him. Uh, you can see Joey has just disappeared into warehouse four. Yeah. Uh, and everyone uh, kind of points towards it. Okay. Um, have I seen Ren <laughs> hijack that car? No. No, <laughs> you haven't. None of you are aware that Ren has just hijacked a forklift. <laughs> <laughs> a yeah. forklift? I didn't catch the forklift part. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Ren's just got a forklift. Now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to do another has. double dash. 
That's another like, 60 you, feet of movement. You make it into the warehouse, you catch up with Joey, who has been looking around. Um, I won't make you roll perception, because I imagine Joey would convey the information that he's gone that away, as it were. Yeah, okay. Um, um, Zoe Beach. So I've used my movement and my action, but I'm going to pull out a javelin. Okay. <laughs> oh, which is just God. throwing weapon. And if, yeah, I see the, I, if I see that see, bitch, I'm going to aim for that. his legs. So <laughs> It's so sharp and so illegal. <laughs> he's a gang member. I don't fucking care. Yeah, we already got arrested once. Ah, uh, he's a gang member. I don't care. Uh, okay, Hertha, uh, you do that. You ready your thing. Varen has his turn. Um, you guys hear thud, 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 thud. It's getting a bit further away. Ivran catches up with you guys. You convey this information. He looks at the javelin and goes, okay, uh, and begins to move forward. Joey, it's your go. <laughs> Ivran's just started to run uh, sort of in a vague direction. I'm assuming you're following him. Uh, yeah. Okie dokie. Uh, you all... Uh, so y- yourself and Ivran, uh, you-, you overtake him at one point. Uh, you reach the the main door of the warehouse. It's like Warehouse 1, where there's a, a mezzanine area with uh, whoever is in charge of this warehouse's office, and then like a big loading door to the front. As you leave this warehouse, um, you, uh, you emerge onto uh, more of a... Uh, it's, it's like a general use street. Like there's a, there's, there's a, a road going one way with general use traffic, and then on the other side of the road, another one in the middle, there is like a tram line. Um, so the traffic here is heavier. It's more of a main road, it looks like, and there are a lot of people sort of on the pavement, walking, going around places. Uh, you can see Varen, as you look around, is bolting for a tram that's already in motion. What do you want to do? Um, can... Hmm. You so, use, and I... I'm going to say most of your movement. If you want to dash as an action, I will let you try and catch up to him. Um, alternatively, yeah, so, if there's anything else you want to try and do. I was going to see if I could use the shape water to, like... Okay. I'm not sure if I can shape it into something like a wall or a fist or something to just make him stumble or grab him. So you look ahead and you can see it's rained relatively recently uh, and there are some puddles all over the place. You raise your hand uh, and if you want, I will let you... Uh, freeze one of the puddles in front of him and we'll see how he does. Yeah, I want to freeze it. Okay, so as he's running, you freeze. Um, it's, uh, oh god, yeah, he slips uh, and again, he just sort of rolls onto the pavement. Um, so that's good. Uh, you guys are very close to him now. Ren! <laughs> oh god! But uh, you do have the ability to catch up a lot quicker than you did a round ago. <laughs> yeah, um, so... Ren hasn't seen any of this, or that she's seen as they've gone through the door of the warehouse. I You can see from where you are, there is an alleyway down the side of between warehouse three and four that is big enough for a fort. <laughs> okay, is that the only way around? Like, I'm looking for the most, li- like, the biggest exit to that warehouse, other than the one that they've just gone <clears> into, <throat> and I'd be heading so for that. You make the vague assumption that trying to quickly drive a forklift through the warehouse probably not the best idea um looking around that is probably the easiest way you would be able to get from the back of the warehouse to the front of the warehouse in this vehicle okay well i i begin to do that then i hope there's you... a very satisfying kind of whining noise as this forklift. there is there is yes there you're just there um and in your head like uh it's it's like the fast and the furious you're like drifting in slow mo <laughs> Um, there's, I haven't watched a Fast and the Furious film in ages. The last thing, the last one I watched properly was Tokyo Drift, which had the music from Tokyo Drift in it. I guess we all know what I'm talking about. Um, yes. That's happening uh, as you as you as you do that. Really, you're just going like ten mile an hour, um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, but you're you're getting there, especially as a gnome who has like a movement speed of, like twenty or something like that. This is quite speedy. Mm-hmm. So uh, <laughs> yeah, you you pelt it down this alleyway and emerge onto the street. Uh, make a... Hmm, you don't have proficiency in vehicle handling. Roll me a d20. Just a d20. I got 15. Uh, yep, okay, cool. So um, you emerge out onto this road. There are people uh, and, and just cars and everything. You now suddenly make the connection 
um, back in your uh, in your monkey brain, as it were, that oh no, forklifts don't belong on these roads, and you swerve and you try not to hit people, and luckily you don't. Um, <laughs> Joey, um, <coughs> Joey, oh Ivran, and uh, Hertha, who have made it to kind of the front of this warehouse by this point. Um, you guys, amongst the uh, the general rumbling of traffic and people, just hear a ruckus behind you. You look around and you just see <laughs> Ren in a forklift oh, just going God. straight past you. Oh, it is my. glorious. Varen is trying to like get up and he sees this and you look around and he panics, scrambles to his feet. Um, uh, and then Joey, you realise what you just did? Um... Can I melt Ren? it like really fast? Oh, not 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 on your turn. You can't, um, Ren. I'd like you to make a perception check, please. Oh no! Oh, Wait, did uh, Baron have his turn? Uh, no, but he is like he has noticed this, and he is like desperately trying to scramble to his feet. Yeah, okay, so he's still uh, he's still prone. He's still prone. Seventeen. You see a a patch of ice in front of you, and immediately, oh, uh, I get you. No, I'm not going to tell you what you're doing. It's your thing. You you see a patch of ice in front of you. <laughs> Okay. Very unseasonable, or whatever it is. <laughs> You're like, hey. Is it my turn now? <laughs> it's unseasonable. Still your turn. <laughs> if you put Basil on this puddle, won't do anything. Um, <laughs> uh, you, you notice this thing in front of you because you're in a forklift. I'm going to say you still have some movement left. Um, it will take you over this puddle. Uh, what are you? What are you doing? Are you, you you can basically either overtake everybody or <laughs> slow down to the same position they're in. Am I, um, am I heading like if I keep going straight, will I intercept the guy we're chasing? Uh, you would get close. You would get very close. I'm gonna keep going straight because if you just keep going straight, I don't think the ice is gonna be a problem. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Well, the, the, as long as I don't try to turn while I'm on the puddle. <laughs> Well, I'm this fine. is the thing. You are on the pavement at the moment, which is like flat paving slabs. You go onto the road. The road is more cobblestone and an uneven surface. And oh. you are like, you know, and again, you realize this. You still have time to stop or you can just keep going if you want. <laughs> it's only a vehicle handling <laughs> check. You've already done really well. I am going to keep going. Yeah, I'm going straight on with this forklift. Oh, if I'm wrong, 18. I'm sorry. 18. So yeah, the, you feel the wheels starting to go, but nope. You, for some reason, are really good at driving forklifts. <laughs> <laughs> forklift proficiency! <Hey. laughs> she may have a forklift license. We'll work that out later. Uh, and yeah, Varen, at this point, wide-eyed, you can see that he is regretting decisions he's made within the last <laughs> minute or so. Hertha, uh, it's your turn. You've just seen that. <laughs> oh shit, how far away am I from him? Um, about 120 odd feet. 120? Uh, he yeah, he was. He's been dashing this whole time. You guys have been keeping up with him and like trading places, but you're like 100 odd feet away, maybe. Uh, you I've could been... probably make it in this dash. He's like on the ground. He's not going anywhere. So I'll say you can make it in this dash. It's DM feet. It's as far as I reckon it should be. Okay. It's doom feet. Okay. Uh, yeah, I dash to him. Yeah, okay, cool. So you sort of catch up more or less with this forklift. Uh, and uh, yeah, you, I'm going to say... I tackle him. Uh, you can jump and try and tackle him if you want. Um, Let's so do it. this this run, the fresh air and the adrenaline um, hasn't cleared the hangover, but you're not thinking about it right now. It is not okay. uh, the throbbing thing right at the front of your mind, as it were. Are you about Make to dive me... in front of a forklift? Make me an acrobat. Yeah, okay, jet. so I'm going to dive and then do a barrel so, I do he, so he doesn't get run over by the forklift. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to grab him and then do a barrel. <laughs> okay, what Why I don't, don't we have a spoon lift? You care 11 less plus about 4, so it's 15. Yeah, you dive at him, you grab him, and with one arm you scoop it, and you don't necessarily barrel roll, but you do slide across the pavement. You can feel your On back the kind ice. of getting scuffed up a bit. On uh, the ice! Yeah, you hit like a patch of ice, and then you hit the road. Uh, and then you hit the tram line, and you can feel your back getting scuffed up a little bit. Uh, but by and large, like yeah, you, you, you're used to okay. being Herb, up stop, a bit. Herb, it's fine. So he's not gonna uh, get run over by the forklift, and I have him grappled. <clears throat> uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Do it. Awesome. Yes, you very do. Um, Herb, you're holding stop. this guy. Uh, he's speedy. Don't get me wrong. But as you're like gripping him with your muscles tense and just holding him down, this is a weak lad. And I am a like, beefy woman. You're a big, strong woman. Um, Hell yeah. So yeah, 
uh congratulations uh yeah so Veron is now caught the uh, the tram he was going for just ding, 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 goes down the road uh, a bunch of cars have slammed their brakes on at this point and people are just like looking uh, a lot of people are now paying attention to whatever the yeah, hell okay. is going on uh everyone catches up everyone else catches up you hear <laughs> as like the tires <laughs> of ren's forklift just stop and she like skids okay. to a halt so um, combat is over. Very cool. Combat is over. You're, combat you, is you over. Okay, Hertha stands up. She's still holding him, but his chin is like on her forearm. She's clutching. <clears throat> she's she's kind of choking him by accident. She's like mm-hmm, looking around. Mm-hmm, it's like mm-hmm. I got him. I have him. <coughs> it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! And then <laughs> you're gonna kill him. I just grab his shoulders instead, and I just hold him up. <sighs> I shake him a bit. <laughs> you oh, fuck off. <laughs> Rude! And I, <laughs> I slap him. <laughs> he spits to the side. He spits a bit of blood. Can I can I raise the prongs of the forklift so that we have somewhere to like hang him from, like dangle him by the back of his shirt? Oh my god! Public, publicly yes, execute. I assume him. you mean like draped across. Dangle, not uh, not kill. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, you you can do that. You know how to raise a forklift's forks. Um, and yeah, you, you, you can do that if you want, Hertha, I guess. No, Hertha keeps him. <laughs> holding him. She's like, she's holding him like you would like a tiny child. You the know? The forklift's like neck height for him at the moment, I'd say. The forks are just like there. Uh, no, she's just holding is... him up. So like, so you know how you hold a baby when you want to give it to someone? Yeah. Yeah, that's how I'm holding oh, like him right by now. by the armpits. But it's whenever, like whenever... over his shoulders, so his arms are like restricted. And I'm like, when, whenever, um, whenever I'm holding a baby, I want to give it away immediately. Yeah, so I know exactly how. I'm very scared is. of children. I don't know if you guys know, that, know this. I am very scared of children. <laughs> uh, okay, yep. So you you hold him out. Uh, Ivran uh, approaches, uh, out of breath. Uh, he just rests a hand against the forklift and he's like, oh, oh speedy. <laughs> what he happened to your babysitter, to- Ivran? He points to him, uh, to, to Varen, and just addresses Joe. He's like, speedy one, isn't he? Um, oh, you're yeah, she's got your babysitter. She had to do something else. Um, but it's cool. We have this. Uh, you guys immediately, uh, faintly at first, but more prevalent uh, as time goes on, hear sirens in the distance. <laughs> oh my god, not again. Her third quickly, uh, so, like, yeah. sh- like, tucks away the javelin. <laughs> <laughs> and tuck um, away the forklift. No, not in, yeah, add a forklift to your inventory spots. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, Hertha, you are you have Varen in a chokehold, uh, or, or however you're holding him. Sorry, uh, like you baby. hear sirens in the distance. Lots of people can see you. Um, people are starting to beep horns and stuff like that. What are you guys doing? Uh, I leave the road. <laughs> yeah, everyone immediately is like, we should, and he points back towards the way you guys came. Um, I, I, Joey's just gonna wave and then make like that universal like crazy symbol near her head you know where you like twirl your finger mm-hmm. uh, okay make a performance check <clears throat> oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> there are very few places 21 hey. yeah it's cool uh, a fair amount of people are just like ah, well, you just hear a general uh, chorus of uh, disinterested disappointed annoyed people uh, just going back and getting on with their day. Um, as you guys leave the road, do you leave the forklift on the tram line? I was going to drive it uh, at a so more reasonable Ren, pace back onto the pavement. Ren more sensibly, just clunk, 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 reverse, clunk, <laughs> forwards, uh, mm. back towards wherever you guys were going. I chuck uh, Baron under my arm. Again. Yep, <laughs> and, uh, and just as soon as uh, everything was held up, Everything starts moving as it would again. Uh, you guys, um, Varen sort of gestures toward the alleyway that Ren had uh, had had come down. Um, are you guys following him, or are you guys, do you have an, uh, an, something else in mind for your for your prey? I think Ren's just going to go park the forklift somewhere that looks less. Yeah, Ren goes and parks the forklift. Bearing in mind, like the fork, you 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 got the forklift parked like. Maybe five, six, seven hundred meters away. <laughs> like, it's not that far. You could no. return it. Yeah, no. I probably will. Um, <laughs> yeah, I figured that okay. the warehouse is like owned by the same people, so I'm not really, I'm not taking it. Like, I'm taking it from you know somebody exactly who's... who is in charge. Yeah, of this entire area. Exactly, and he's he's with us, so it's 
Oh, wait, hang on. It's the freight coordinator. Oh, no. The office of the freight coordinator. <laughs> Ethram is in charge of warehouse one. Oh, no. So what you have essentially done, <laughs> you, Ren realises as she trundles this little forklift back to where she got it from, is she has just hot-wired <laughs> a forklift under the jurisdiction of a gnome that already doesn't like them very oh much. Oh my god. <laughs> oh dear. The people who, the people who aren't Ren, uh, so we have uh, Ivran, we have Hertha, we have Joey, and Varen is, is just being held. Um, being dangled. You, know, you guys are in an alleyway. Um, you can hear sirens in the distance getting louder. Uh, you suspect you don't have particularly long uh, if you're going to hang around here. So what are we doing? I was going to say, can I quickly look around and make sure there's like nobody that can see? Make a perception check. Her thought you were saying. Uh, I was saying that we should go back to the warehouse, but I don't know. take him out to the warehouse. I got a, sorry, I got a thirteen. Uh, cool. Uh, as far as you're aware, you 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 can't be seen. Yeah. Um, Hertha, you want to take him out to the warehouse by the sounds of it. Um, I guess are sort of just is suggesting with your body language that that's what you'd like to try and do. Uh, Joey, why are you checking for witnesses? <laughs> 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 because I'm gonna punch him in the stomach. And uh, go, okay. Bastard. You punch him in the stomach. He just goes. Ugh. Oh, and her, Hertha goes. Oh shit! Do you want to do that? So she holds him up again, like a punching bag. <laughs> Like yeah, a pinata. Just like, yeah, just like, hit him! Do it! Joey's just gonna be like, that's for making me run after a night at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> he spits blood. It's like, fuck off. Stop spitting everywhere! She starts shaking again. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, he spits more blood. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> you stop it. <laughs> I am in control here, you make no demands. Oh. This is like the most Hertha has ever spoken. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, shit, you're right. Sirens are getting louder. Okay, we leave. Okay, <laughs> Let's okay. take him back to the warehouse. I shake I him occasionally on the bike back to the warehouse. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, um, you guys make it back to the warehouse. Uh, you can hear sirens in the distance. As you get back to the door, you see the halfling there and Ethram there. They immediately see just Varen beaten up and they're just like, oh god, what, what's happened? <laughs> he did this to himself. Joey just smiles and goes, he tripped. Uh, that Ivrin, is true. As he walks through in and just like, uh, icy puddle. Uh, and walks in. <laughs> and Unfortunate. Walks in the door. Yeah, indeed. Walks into the door. Uh, Ren, um, you park your, uh, your, your forklift and just like... <laughs> I imagine trot off before well, anybody really sees you. Can I just give it a quick look over for damage from the cobblestones, whether it's in okay shape or whether I broke it? You worked out as you went back that the suspension is maybe a little bit busted. It's not designed to be driven at high speeds over main roads. <laughs> um, <laughs> it works. Uh, you, you're also probably more or less aware or can at least make the informed assumption that a lot of these forklifts probably aren't in pristine condition. So if right. anybody notices, then here, yeah, you know. I, I'll leave um, it then. I was going to put some coins on the seat, but I think I'm fine. Oh, I wouldn't bother. So, <laughs> like, as in, Just like, like my I car wouldn't. in real life. <laughs> <laughs> we have, we, between us, we have about 10 grand, more than 10 grand. So, you know. Yeah. yeah Actually, I think we're up to 15 decent. grand. That's for our hoes uh, and uh, Because we've got, the two no, five, we've got the two 5Ks for uh, yeah, no, delivering the package, plus the original upfront 5K, plus... Yeah. Yeah, yeah I guess between yeah, us, a, 15, 15 grand then. Gibbon as needs some upgrades, guys. Has, we need to yeah, keep the money. So it's like, if I was going to leave a couple of gold coins on the uh, seat, it wouldn't really have mattered. <laughs> no, no, that's not ours. Not at all. Not at all. That's um, ours. <clears throat> okay, you all regroup in the, in the, in the break room of Warehouse 1. Um, Ethram is kind of standing in the door the halfling is sort of standing next to him and they're just like uh, Varen I imagine is still being held yeah <laughs> under my arm uh, cool you guys have Varen uh, he is uh, a little bit beaten a little bit bruised you can hear loud sirens in the distance Ethram and the halfling are just like uh, and Ivran has just waved his hand dismissively at them um, you guys do not have long uh, before the police start crawling around the warehouse district, this general area, uh, and uh, the the halfling actually pipes up at one point. And she's like, "I um, I did, I did call the police. You didn't have to." Um, so they are Joey. 
can Joey be like, okay, good, then give me one reason why we shouldn't hand this little cretin over and or beat the snot out of him? Uh, she's just there. She's she's a little bit frightened of you. She's like, I, I, the 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 plan was to hand just have him arrested. I mean, um, don't get me wrong. I mean, he's here now, so we can thank you. I think. And Ethan just kind of holds his hands up in a, in a kind of nothing to do with me kind of manner. And <laughs> he uh, walks out the other door. By this point, uh, she's just like, so um, I'm Where's just mad saying- of intimidation. Get her in here. Um, but yeah, she's, she's like, I'm just saying, you know, if you're gonna r- r- rough rough him up, uh, beat the is snot it? out of him were my words. I uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't be doing that when they arrive. But I don't know. And she she leaves as well. What's your name? <laughs> Are you asking <laughs> the the woman? Yeah. Uh, she's just kind of like um, uh, er- 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 error, error. Yeah. You're lovely. Good she... luck to you. Uh, <laughs> and she leaves. I am Era. <laughs> it's just you and Varen and police sirens that are getting progressively louder as time passes. You do not have Ren, all. hit it. Starts beatboxing. <laughs> let's go back to the Gubin. Or no, let's go back to their hotel room. Because then it's We not... need to ask him about... Yeah, we're gonna, no, we still we're have the have boy. In, in, interrogation thing, so we... Uh, Ivran is sort of standing there, leaning against the door frame. He's like, "We have maybe a minute. Just ask him who he works for, and then we can work off that." I okay, so I if, I if... pull him up again, but this time he's facing mm-hmm. me. It's like, "Okay, who do you work for?" Uh, intimidation with advantage, please. Yeah. For those unaware, uh, Hertha, the soft, gentle giant. Natural 20. Uh, oh, nat 20. Uh, don't, don't bother re-rolling. Um, Hertha, the soft, gentle giant, um, does not have a fantastic uh, charisma score, as you can see on screen now. Um, but because of her size and her frame and the fact that she is just silent a lot of the time, she's still quite intimidating. So um, When I'm using my strength, when, I am intimidating. So yes. Yeah, when, when Hertha rolls intimidation, she uses her strength modifier instead to just makes herself look big and doesn't say anything deliberately. Um, and that's exactly what she does here. She beats herself up. She's like, uh, what, what, did you, what did you ask? So who do you work for? Uh, and he just goes pale. And he's like, uh, uh, I just, I, I, I just, this guy, I, I get telegrams and, and I just mark boxes and they're gone in the morning. That's all I know. Okay, that's not helpful at all. So you're going to have to be more specific. That's, that's all I know. He he signs his telegrams. Uh, K, uh, there's, there's one in my locker over there, and he points. His hands are up, and he's like, "There's one in my locker over there," and he points over to his locker. Okay. So did they steal the box? Uh, I I mean I I mark them. Ren, Ren, with, with Ren tries to open the locker. Uh, you walk over there. Uh, it's locked. Um, you assume he has the keys on him. I start looking for his keys. In his pocket. Uh, you you rummage through his pockets. Uh, yeah, and I found them and I tossed keys, them. To you Ren. throw them to Ren. Ren opens the door. Um, indeed, Ren uh, in there along with some spare steel cat work boots, uh, a spare jacket, some lunch, uh, etc., etc. You do find a telegram. I take um, the telegram and the lunch. Okie dokie. Uh, <laughs> uh, you look in. You look inside the lunch there. Uh, you can add a you can add a sandwich and another pickle to your inventory. <laughs> <laughs> um, the uh, I will put the words in the group D and D chat so you guys can read them uh, as 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 and when you like. Uh, but for those at home, uh, the telegram Ren is holding reads specific order this time. Stop delivery from ship Govern in quotation marks. Stop made tonight. Stop. Um, it seems that uh, it's it seems that it was a specific thing that was being looked for. Um, Varen is like that's all I know. That's all I have, uh, and it is indeed marked with uh, signed off with the single letter reading K at the bottom. Uh, so that's all I know. I swear. Is it How though? close are the police sirens now? They are very, very close. Okay, I should probably leave. Um, Joey, okay, thank you Joey, so much for your help. And then I raise him above my him. head, and then I slam him into the pavement, and then I leave. Uh, you dump him on the floor. I slam uh, him into the floor. You slam him into the floor. 
Uh, and yeah, he preferably uh, with his head. <laughs> 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 with his head, you say? Yeah. Make a strength check. My strength. Oh check. God. Please don't kill him. The cops are right outside. <laughs> That's a seven plus four. That's another S- okay, cool. Uh, yeah, you slam him into the floor uh, and he um, rests himself up against the sofa. He looks incredibly dazed. Uh, you can hear the police sirens basically out the back now. Okay, let's leave. like a banana and split, fellas. Everyone's like, yes, that. Uh, and he begins <laughs> to leave. Uh, as you leave, um, you see Ethram uh, in the hallway uh, he's like, are you not staying? Oh. We figured you could handle this one. Well, they'll want statements. <laughs> he's, um, he's just going to keep going. Heard the leaves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just uh, be like, he slipped and he robbed your property. Yeah. I, uh, I, uh, and he, 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 he crashed there. into the sofa too. Okay, bye. Jo- Joey's going to kind of smile at him and be like, do you want us to stay in your nice warehouse and explain the situation? <laughs> are, you, are you insinuating something there? Because <laughs> if so, I want you to make a specific role <laughs> for it, please, if you are trying to intimidate a member of the public. They do have the name of our yeah, ship. Yeah, she's saying. trying to intimidate him into just taking care of it himself and letting them leave. Uh, just in, yeah, intimidation, please. Come on, Joey, be good at something besides Can I back her up and hitting by standing in the background and buffing myself up? Eleven. He's just like, just go, just get out, get out of my, get out of my white house. Yet again, Bye. Joey's gonna double finger guns as they leave. <laughs> uh, you guys leave. You manage to leave um, just as police are starting to pull up. You, uh, I'm gonna say, roll stealth individually. Um, well, uh, stealth, stealth as a group, I guess. Um, uh, I'm just going to roll it for you, sod it, uh, just so this is quicker. Yep, you guys merge into the crowd, more or less fine. Um, where are you guys headed? You know, as well as you can with um, the giant and the blue lady. Back to the bar? <laughs> back to the bar? I don't Dirty know, where is, where is Ivrin going? We still have Irvin with us, don't we? Uh, yeah, Ivrin, yes, you do. And Anna. <laughs> oh, no, Anna God, no, We don't want that, we want the loading screen. Um, uh, no, Anna left a while ago. It was assumed oh. that you guys had this under control, so... <laughs> uh-huh. Right. Uh, we did uh, As you guys are walking, um, <clears throat> Ivrin uh, turns to you guys and goes, So, um, it's good to see that you guys are uh, just as capable of... Um, just as capable of dealing with, uh, with, with conflict as, uh, as you were previous, I guess. It's very good to see that you are very horrible. What was that, sorry? Very concerning to see that you are... You're cutting out something, yeah. something horrible. God damn it. Hello. <laughs> Hello. It is very concerning that you are horrible at it, seeing as you are <laughs> I, I was I was just running. I, I, I don't First, have you, to fight. You're bad at that, too. Why yeah, would you I don't have, have to... to fight, but you sent your babysitter away, <laughs> and she could have helped. I assumed that we were going to have this, and it was going to be nice and easy. It's... I was led to Well, believe. it wasn't. I was led to believe that the thing was over there somewhere. But no, you guys just have to be all secrets and mystery and... and oh, whatever. now we're being secrets and oh, mystery. No. I'm a reclamation agent. How often and do you think I do And we are cool. Sprints? He just sounds like... Rah, 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 rah. Okay, okay. Ren's just what like... Do? Yeah, Bad did, agent. Did you, did you see what I did? <laughs> <laughs> he chuckles. He's like, yes, yes, I saw what you did. It was... Uh, but, uh, you know what, actually, good work. Good work with that was some quick hot wiring, I'll give you that. Um <laughs> he 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 stops for a second and sits down on the on the on the on the bench and uh, scratches his head. Uh teeth at this point sticks his head out from uh, the bag uh, and just gets receives some head scratches, uh, almost without thinking, Ivrin's hands just starts like scratching the back of the back of Teeth's head. Um, Her first like, squint. She says you have a pet dragon. He looks up and he's like, uh, oh, teeth, yeah, yes, yeah, uh, pseudo dragon. Easy mistake, not an actual dragon, can't breathe fire or anything, but um, sharp pointy teeth, he says. Um, have you and, met an uh, actual dragon? He looks up and he's like, thankfully not. I have. Oh. They're a lot better than those. That looks like something you'd cook for dinner. <laughs> Everyone's like looking at her <laughs> with concern. <laughs> 
teeth almost looks a little bit hurt and, and receives more head scratches. And he's like, okay, whatever. Anyway, At least he's a bit more... cute. I probably wouldn't eat him. Joey's like, stop it, he's beautiful. <laughs> In more relevant news. He's a news, dragon! <laughs> In more relevant news, <laughs> he says, um, okay, it seems that this K chap, uh, that is what it was, right? It was K, and he looks around yeah. to see who. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Ren we did, waves we did the telegram. The telegram. Right? Good. Excellent. Yes. Good shout. Good shout. It seems that this K person might be our lead to finding this crate. Um, I know somebody in Shale who may be able to help find where this guy has gone. The money is still on the table. Uh, you guys. Are they are- better at combat? He's better at anything. She's like, hmm. I mean, he probably he'll, he'll give you he'll give you some nasty nips if you get into a scrap. I I I guess yes. Um, oh, she's so actually I, competent. Uh, I uh, in in many ways yes. Um, but he's also a bit uh, over curious, shall we say, a bit uh, sketchy uh, around new people. So. What we would have to do, we would all have to go just to meet him. He looks up, he looks at the time, uh, and he, then he looks up at a clock that's on a on a wall of a warehouse across the road. He's like, I think I know where he'd be now. We could go there now on the way back to the Docklands uh, and just see if we can uh, make use of his services, as it were, uh, if that works. But as I say, he'd, he'd want to meet everyone just so he knows who he's dealing with. The money, of course, still on the table. This is a slight detour. Uh, and unlike him back there, and he sort of thumbs back towards Warehouse 1, uh, I'm pretty confident my contact will be able to actually help us. Joey's going to kind of... Um, she's thinking right now, like, do you think, because they mentioned something about the mob, she's going to... Do you think that half-orc that got into that scuffle with us has anything to do with it? And do you think they could know anything about a cake? Uh, it's entirely possible, he says. I mean, I falsely assumed that um, your the, that uh, your friend here. Uh, I assume you've exchanged names at some point through the day. Uh, did you did you give actual names or? Yeah, I guess so. Hertha okay, did. so yeah, Joey, Hertha, so. and Rain. Haley. Haley. Oh, Hertha no, 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 did, no, 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 did not. I, I, I think I've <laughs> Hertha did not. Yeah. We're enter- we're entering into agreement into an agreement. Uh, it's only like like the yeah. police that. Um, so Ren it's is Joey, worried about. Ren, and what did Hertha give as a name? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, so, uh, so everyone's like, uh, I, I wrongly assumed that Ren here was uh, was was with these criminals. Um, it stands to reason that they probably were. Uh, that's entirely possible. Uh, this is something we can ask my contact. He's quite well connected. Um, so. If we want to do that, I think that may be our best way forward. We can just go over there. We can ask. He's he's he runs a stall down on the docks, so it's literally five minutes away. Uh, and then we can regroup at the docklands. We can work out what we're doing from there. How does that sound? Yeah, I might as well. Yes. Okay. Cool. You all walk for five minutes. You walk through the town uh, Ren, again. Ren it's... consumes the sandwich along the walk. <laughs> You can see in the sandwich, it's a it's a passable sandwich. Uh, the bread's a little bit soggy, but outside of that, it's fine. Right. Um, <laughs> you guys walk through, uh, and again, uh, Shale Shale is a, a, an important port town for Marsden Tether. Whenever it's open, it's busy. Uh, there are people all over the place. You can just hear the thrum of people and voices uh, as you get closer to the actual dock area. So down here, you guys uh, again. Everyone turns to you and is like, we're getting close. Remember, just don't speak out of turn. Uh, and we can get through all of this fine. He's um, When I say well-connected, I assume you know what I mean. And if at any point you meet my superiors, we didn't do this. Are we in agreement? Sure. Okie dokie. All right. I, like I guess we can just one tell them that we picked it time. up from the warehouse when we get the credits. Yes, exactly. We worked it out. We... We informed the police, and the police told us. Yes, yeah, and you keep walking. It's like one of his, <laughs> his his stall is one of these. You're walking, and um, if you remember when you uh, unloaded the crate the first time round, you docked. Um, How and could we forget? It was like yes, uh, and there was the cliff, and then you can just see the sky 
and a sea of clouds. Uh, and there's like a wooden dock area with a large wall. You walk down some stairs, you're on that dock area, and you can see uh, people moving backwards and forwards. And there's a bunch of covered market stalls. Some of them selling the freshest produce straight off the boats. Uh, some of them, you, you, you get smells of various cuisines, some local, some not. Ivran approaches one of these stalls. There is just a huge wok with some sort of rice-based dish in it. There's a huge flame. Uh, it smells lovely. Some exotic spices, some things you can't place. There's some lovely fresh produce in baskets at the back, and you can tell it's probably these things are being cooked from ingredients that arrived maybe an hour and a half ago. And I it think smells Noodles good. wants us to restock the gubbin. <laughs> and it smells f- just, just this food. It's it's street food, um, and it smells fantastic. Uh, Ivran uh, walks up to this stall, and it's empty. And he he just goes, "Oh, um, this is his stall, I guess." As he's looking around, a small uh, a cat just starts playing around the the party. Just starts moving around your legs, just being like, meow, meow, as he's like, Ivran sort of looks around. He looks down. He's like, "Oh." There you are. And as you guys look down at the cat, the cat looks up and he's like, I thought I told you never to bother me at work ever again. <laughs> what the fuck? And that's where we're ending this week's session. Thank you very Whoa. much for watching, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining us for this first recorded Ooh. episode of A Tangent of Our Dragons. Um, we should be in the chat as it is doing things saying stuff being part of the group. Um, if you want to continue the chat, obviously, we have the uh, the Tangent Discord uh, which will be linked in the description and stuff like that. Um, yeah, let us know what you think of the uh, of the recorded format. Uh, obviously, there's nothing we can do to change it, but you know, <laughs> happy we don't like only. it. Keep quiet. Uh, I suspect and, uh, the next yeah. episode's going to be a catastrophe. Oh, oh my God. Sorry. Cut sparks. The light. I don't know when we're uploading this. Um, if possible, I might try and, and see about getting this uploaded uh, before. The, before the next Monday stream would have been, uh, oh, just yeah. as a uh, an apology for things imploding the first time round. Um, but the uh, if if this isn't it, the next the tangent about dragons stream will be Monday the twenty eighth at eight pm GMT. Clocks have gone back. Adjust for that. Um, if not, it'll be not in America. It, it it will have done by uh, no. No, no, nope, no 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 not to November. No 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 no. Um, uh, no, sorry, the 28th is a tangent stream. We're playing to be or not to be. That's it. The one after that will be the 4th of November, which will be... Uh, which will be everyone's clocks will, should have moved back and forth on a line with themselves, so it's fine. The point, clocks are moving, time is a human construct, and humans seem to hate making things easy for themselves. So just work out what the times are. <laughs> it's going to be up at, like... It's going to be premiering at 7pm. Uh, GMT. We'll announce it ahead of time on Twitter and Discord. We'll announce it ahead of time on the Twitter and the Discord um, because everything I've just said here may have been complete nonsense but it's probably going to be the fourth. (laughs) Who cares? Thank you very much for watching (laughs) and for joining us uh, and we'll see you guys next time. Farewell, goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Goodbye.